weird, which OBS just disconnected, reconnected. So let's see what's going on there. That's got nothing to do. Well, that says poor stream health. Here, let me look at my profile. We're going to get into the new patch and some of the updates that we did here. But I got to make sure you can hear me clearly. So a little bit of setup with you guys would be nice. Profile. I can't change profile while streaming. That's. But I'm in my live stream profile. I know I am. Can you hear me clearly? Does it sound rattled, muffled? Is there a bunch of background noise? This microphone is so stinking good, it picks up a mouse fart from 40 feet away. So I've, I've, I've got some noise suppression turned on. I'm using software compression now on the voice. Uh, honestly, I don't know if it makes my voice sound like the way it's supposed to sound like, and the other mic didn't. Don't know the difference here. Yeah. So while we're doing that, you let me know. Does the audio sound raspy or does just do you know that I, I like I sound like I'm drop and give me twenty type type raspy. Install. Where, where's my live streamer? Oh, I just pulled that so far off the screen, I don't think I can grab it. What if I drag it to the other screen? Oh my gosh, what did I do? Aha, I got you. There we go. Well, if you guys haven't noticed, you're having a direct and immediate effect on Fun Plus. Uh, I hadn't even gotten this new 4.73 installed yet, and I'm seeing people talk about it. I can tell you my complaint from Ike. There are three kingdoms that we have fought that uh, have been absolutely steamrollers to our kingdom. They, they were they were so overpowered, and all three of those kingdoms are against our kingdom. This Ike, and they were last Ike, and the White Tiger Insider guy, which is what I suspect him of being, was also in our uh, UAC. And he was in our freaking blood wars. If either there's something broken in the rolling system, or we keep rolling the same single Chinese 4,400, 2,200 stat monster every single time, who seems to have my name on speed dial. But not to complain too much, because I set my guards up last night when I, when I logged off without a bubble, because I knew somebody... This is how predictable it is. I knew somebody was going to have overwhelming stats and be heading straight for my castle. It, it's gotten that predictable with Fun Plus. Uh, the, the insiders are spiteful. I'm going to call you out for what you are. You just... You, uh, this is what a proper influencer program would have avoided, is you're playing catch-up, and then one of your guys actually goes on to one of my videos and acts like, Oh, could you get it right? Because you fixed things over the eight hours. 
And you seem to forget we had an entire film showing what it was we were complaining about. Uh, you know, we, I, I show you, I don't just tell you. This ain't a radio show, although it's starting to look like one. The, uh, I don't want fine. I want good. I want great. The, uh, but the stream quality is crap right now, so I don't know if that's screwing things over or not. Okay, so let's go into last night's stuff. War. There was no RSS to, to hit. Really? Love it when that happens right off the bat. Okay, so. You've seen this stat report before, because it's the same stinking guy. The, uh. So, what we saw, and I'll tell you where we saw it. Let's look at the first two. Okay, so, the first hit he made, and this is this Uber guy who comes out of nowhere and he hits me first because he just knows where I'm at every time. So, he's paying for that benefit, apparently. Even though I've never attacked him, he shouldn't be able to just instantly find my castle. You know what I realized? I don't have a cough button now. The uh, that's I'm gonna have to fix that problem. The uh, there's a problem with the sound. See, there's problems in here. Uh, Vox GOG is. Let's look at the updates here. But look, this was the first hit. Okay. Now, I've since changed the guards. He's using mopping. Now, his guards are all going to all be... I mean, I, I want you guys to notice that his guards were maxed out one day one day after a patch release. So we are talking about somebody who supposedly spent $3,000 yesterday to go kill me. That's about what it would have took to get that much EXP hanging in there. I get EXP all the stinking time, guys. I, I, I just... I. He doesn't have that much more laying around than me. And I know how far away for getting one or two of these guards set up. This, this is BS math. So if this isn't your employee over there at Fun Plus who is abusing the system to manipulate the game's output, maybe you ought to turn around and understand that if it's an employee who has insider information and it's attacking a paying customer, you're a dumbass. For allowing it. That's not what insider stuff is for. The, uh, if, again, once again, if you want to learn what a proper influencer program is, we may get insider access to new stuff, but we should never be allowed to play it in-game against people who pay. That's not proper. The, uh, and that's what a lot of people want when they want this. That's what this little, these people over here got in this Huck Finn thing. And for those who don't realize, it's real easy to see when you copy my content, when you copy my mistakes. Because there was mistakes I made in old articles I never got around to fixing, and you copied them into some of this stuff in here. That is stealing. 
the uh but to think that the kids that they hustled into getting into that stuff did anything but so look i spent uh i want to say 40 bucks and i got four levels on one guard so the uh and this is some this white tiger guy came out of nowhere it actually popped up after another video that fun plus hated on me he suddenly started rolling with us the man they're issuing the perception of spending i'm telling these guys they have it wrong their lifelong philosophy on how things work skewing the reality on how to make a company grow. You don't turn around and fight the philosophy that has proven for 200 years to cause economic growth and say, well, we got this 5,000-year-old philosophy over here, and we've been around for 5,000 years. You've been in poverty for 5,000 years. Stop the... Uh, What are we seeing here? Oh. The. Here's what I was looking for. Where's the system mail? All right. So, yes, I downloaded your 4.3. Uh, added default guards for March. See, this is where I wanted to, and I hadn't even, you know, I, you saw me download this. I hadn't even gotten here to look. But the complaints that we put forward, and I want to say the optimizations we endorsed, is, an, is a better way of saying complaints that we put forward, uh, they immediately responded. So let's go look at that. It's nice to have that influence, but guys, I don't have that influence if you guys don't show up. So it's not me, it's you. That makes that possible. So occupy. Let's first start on a guard gather. And she's got pre guards on it. Look at that. So I'm going to run out there. I don't even know if i got enough troops to actually farm a level 7 tile. Since I got zeroed in five minutes last night. The There has to be a balance of that. You cannot sell other customers to a single customer as if that's real dollars. And I would love to see the, I, you know, I, I wouldn't put the information out, but I would love to see proof that that's real dollars. So that I could dispel the rumor, the uh, you know that, but these guys don't even communicate. And I'll, I'm going to let them in on a little insider, since they're watching and paying attention right now. Uh, do, 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 channel dashboard. Let me go to video analytics. See, I can see when the low parts of the day are and then the good parts of the day back in the... Guys, a thousand views in one day is, is huge. It's a big market, but people have crap to do. The uh, well, What I'm looking for here is I got to remember... Hmm... I don't want real-time activity Get in the reach page. See more. You got to forgive me. YouTube has been updating all their stuff in the background. Uh, traffic source. And I don't know that I can see this as of today. Because this video is under 48 hours old. 
Anyway, just to let you Fun Plus guys know, I know when you're watching a video because you use a special app that's monitored by your company for communications, and I can see you transmitting that traffic back and forth inside because that becomes the referral is from that app. Uh, so I know how many employees are looking at it. I know about what time of day they're looking at it the, uh, and the response rate. So that's – I can't see it on this one right now, but I can see it on the one before that. And I, I can't show that screen to the public just – because it's got a lot more information because it's over 48 hours. I didn't know if I could see it in under 48 hours or not because they've, they've been changing the notification stuff. It takes about 48 hours to catch up on the stats. Excuse me. My uh, diet green iced tea is very sweet. Angel, there is no good answer to your question right now. Uh, it's going to be whatever you got. Not If you're a newish player, then it's, it's, it's what you got. Uh, well, let's get into what we saw for stats. That Here's what Fun Plus just did for me without realizing. I, I think somebody's been over there trying to pull off some spiteful stuff, but what they wound up doing is giving me data. All right. So, because I want you to look at hits one. The guy killed 1.47 million troops. Hit two, he's still running airships, still running his guards. Right? But I killed, but he killed... One fourth as many. The uh, before his march died, I suspect that's because that guard didn't proc until the second march. I've got eleven tiers of troops in there, so either there's a bug in that guard that it didn't proc the first time, which would have took him. More than three times. So if this is the standard, my victory should have been five to seven deep using those guards on my wall with my volume of troops, even with that guy's superior stats. I would have called that rebalancing the game against people buying the ability to overpower somebody. But that's not what happened. This looks exactly like it did last Ike from the exact same player. He got two marches wiped out, and then he just got to sit there and eat the rest of my troops up. The uh, So this guy got to come in here and kill 400,000 of my troops. And this is where Revenge Gamer has called you guys to task about having these insiders because it's called Broken Window Economics. I'm going to go break the window of the guy at the bread shop so that the window maker has a job. I'm going to go kill Muse's troops so that Muse has to buy more troops and I, the programmer developer, have a job. Problem winds up being it's not that I was going to spend less money. Now you've dictated where I need to spend my money. You want me spending money on troops. Well, I don't want to spend money on troops. I want to spend money on stats. I want to spend money on damage. I want to spend money on gold, even, to be active during events. It's the same money going the same direction, but your communistic lifelong philosophy of broken window thinking is getting in the way of understanding what would make the game entertaining and move forward. I'm looking at these stats. That guard did not proc until the second run. So you got to want to get in there and look. That looks proper. This looks bogus. His first, shit should, his first hit shouldn't have been so stinking devastating. My stats are not that far behind him. I know that these are 
percentage of roll. The uh, as far as damage, everything else goes. He's rolling T12s. That's an advantage. <coughs> I'm gonna have to work on that cough button thing. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Uh, Actually, I got a mute button up there, but man, it's kind of a pain in the butt to get on and off. So, hold on. Well, 357, I would say that would be normal. This one, Monster Zero Sugar right here. I got a cooler full of them, boss. Within reach now. Yeah. I had to, you, this is a different chair than I had yesterday. I've got two or three of these executive chairs, and this one definitely... Uh, can prevent me from getting work done. But it's damn sure not as painful on my back. And you see me croning probably to move my my head around. That's because the screen's my, moving this screen, so I'm going to have to... Can't do that. Man, I just took this thing down from having four monitors... Uh, I'm going to have to put the, four, the other two monitors back up so I have a place to put stuff. Where do Demon Hunter... Demon Hunter fragments come from what event now? They may have tuned it out. I hadn't paid attention. Sun King is so easy to get now that you almost straightly jump to it. I can tell you what monitor, you know, on 3 to 7 that the, uh, the two big benefits from this. One, there is no sugar to it because I have to monitor my blood. The, uh, and, uh, two, it really helps with the migraines so it takes a little getting used to if you're drinking other sodas man if you've got a dr pepper habit that's how you kick it and if you have a dr pepper habit you know what i'm talking about it is it is worth you, you might as well you know try and take heroin instead of dr pepper it's that hard to kick the dr pepper habit And that's a it the t shirts for sale I have t shirt designs uh that especially with the gum use stuff. I was looking the other day I was gonna wear one of my gum use t shirts in here and start wearing those in here since i'm that's one of the things the selling product you you gotta wear your product the uh my most popular shirt. For, for 10 years, I get stopped I, when I forget that I'm wearing it because I'll wear it just where I'm going to wear it around the house and I'll forget and I'll go out to like the store and I get stopped three or four or five times in the store to, to compliment me on my shirt because all it says is, is uh, I practice my second to protect your first. You're welcome. And that's all it says on the back. And then I got my little gun and use logo on the front. Uh, so I'm trying to determine if I want to reuse my old gum use logo because it's already a registered trademark. I don't have to pay any of that paperwork anymore. <coughs> the, uh, but it, the gum use logo, it's dated. The, uh, but I'm not a graphics artist. I need to build a new logo thing. Casper Crafty. The uh, you don't have Dr Pepper there, yeah. Lots of communist freaking places don't have Dr Pepper, <laughs> and I make fun of the places when we go there. Like I live in Southwest. If you pull into a drive-through and say, and, and I'll take a Dr Pepper, and they said, 
we have Mr. Pibb. I was like, what, are you communist? And the freaking staff will, like, laugh back there because they know damn good and well they live in the South. And Dr. Pepper is Dr. Pepper. It is not Mr. Pibb. There is no substitute for Dr. Pepper. It's delicious. The, uh, but it's addictive. And Dr. Pepper's got more sugar than, mo and, and than other sodas. Do you know that root beer does not have caffeine in it? And that the... You, you guys got me off topic today, man. I was actually coming in here to do the mic thing. I'll have to listen to this back to see what I think of the quality. Like the cooler's running right now. Can you hear the cooler? If I turn my noise suppression on properly, you shouldn't be able to hear the cooler. Yesterday when I plugged this mic in, you could hear the lights buzzing in the room. It picked up everything. And then I learned something about these mics. You see how I got it hung vertically? You can't talk into them directly like that. They're not designed that way. And then I always thought these were spit screens. But really, these screens are designed to make sure that your voice sounds perfectly at the proper distance when you're doing the uh, audio thing. So when you get to this distance from the mic, your voice sounds as the mic intended it to sound. Versus back here, I'm getting a little echo from the walls behind me, things like that. The... Uh, But I always thought those were spit screens, and I learned. So yesterday I had to learn how to use a professional mic. I thought it's a mic. How hard is it to plug in a microphone? <laughs> it took me about four hours, and then I couldn't run this boom up over my monitors. My monitors are too big to get it down where it needed to be. So now you got the boom coming from the side of the desk over here, and it's causing an issue there. We're just getting random people coming in here to chat. Okay. You're in 409. That's not a necessarily New Kingdom anymore. You're in KVK, things like that. You're playing catch up if you don't have any of that gear, Rat Phase. Man, go spend 20 bucks on a Google game card and go buy Sun King. <clears throat> Just so that you can do events. Uh, otherwise, you're not going to be able to keep up with your alliance to keep up with your gear. You've got to be able to get your loot every time in order to be, you know, play, keep playing and catch up. Well, let's hold on. Let's not get too far off track before I go here. Oh. Uh, rewards for event preparing for war. I will tell all you guys who are doing line suits. We did what is 10 a.m. my time, is 12 noon Eastern Standard Time, and that is 6 o'clock England time. And for my kingdom and my alliance, that wound up being the best time to enhance chess, augment chess. It gave us the biggest window. That needs to be more than 30 minutes. It is too hard to get alliance participation within a 30-minute window, especially if you're an international alliance. The uh, We want to be an international alliance, but if you're an international alliance, which Fun Plus should be desiring me, to be the guy leading and pulling their countries together and stuff like that. Well, they are so constantly screwing with the timers, it's making it a nightmare. Uh, well, you're getting master ingots from uh, Red Guard raids now. So that's 40 a week. 
you're wondering where you get your gear, uh, make sure you make the Red Rook Guard raids. It's very important to get into the fort for points. But you see right there, guys, I'm getting master ingots for, uh, not that I need them, not that I can convert them up. Oh, we're not going to look at it. Oh, wait a minute. We'll show it what everybody does. Thank you for your loot. And everybody knows they cannot track in-app to browser. It's not possible to track it that way. Uh, hey, we gave you these things that could cause you to lose more troops by healing while we sicked all those monsters on you. Because they do come around every eight hours and check. And when my daily delivery expires, it will expire permanently this time. Uh, I've had daily delivery for the full year. And you, you really, I'm not telling people anymore to go after that. And I'm going to personally say no more for me. It was too much of a pain in the butt. You literally sold me something that made me log in every day. I can't log in every day anymore. I'm logging in like once every other day or every couple days, and it's schedule issues. Uh, so Revenge told me personally that he knows they closed four holes. The... I guarantee you what Revenge really did was he started the conversation in so many back rooms that there were probably a hundred holes. And, and developers do this. They leave themselves holes so they can go home and cheat for themselves. Uh, and I mean at every level of industry, that, that's what happens. Some system... So let's check that. It's now easier to check a guard's uh, unique skill. Look, guys, they went through my my little crap list. How can I can't complain about that? The uh, I'm glad I didn't get started on the videos so early. Again, this is one of these things where, look, what used to happen with when I did the gun review stuff is manufacturers sent me the guns long before they got sent to a magazine for everybody else to review. So when we're talking about an influencer program, it's one of these things where I get looked at the beta, I get an idea of what I'm going to say, this is good, this is bad, and give back my crib notes. You either accept or reject that, and then when you, say, when you turn around and say, okay, now we're releasing it to the public, what you accepted or rejected, you're going to get reviewed on. Uh, the, that's how that works. What they want up here with this thing is they want control over the information and what they got was last year's graphics attached to this year this this week's release the uh, and what they're what they're gonna find out is a thing that I already know and that is as your content gets dated you got to double down on your work the uh, so I plan for my work being uh, obsolete at some point and so as you've seen over the course of this year guys each month everything has gotten better that's because I don't have to redo some of what I've did before in order to put out a better product next time uh, the it's getting faster and faster and faster and my one hang up right now these days is hardware for processing video uh, and bandwidth for uploading video Yeah, they've done this new chat thing every day. Guys, I, I encourage you not to send complaining chats during those surveys. 
you're not getting even with anybody. The person who has to listen to a thousand pieces of shit uh, screaming at them is not the developer. It's some poor schlub that's got to sit there and read through these things really, really quick. And if it becomes a repetitive, you guys suck, next, they cannot use the content constructively. And I probably should put out a video on how to make a constructive com uh, uh, complaint. Because you can't just say, your guard menu sucks, which is what everybody says. That's what they tell me. Oh, I hate this. The guard interface sucks. Uh, well, why does it suck? Uh, they went and put all these fixes in here. Why? Because we articulated why we thought they sucked. Uh, what I would have wanted different. And guys, I've got to compliment this because this is exactly what I asked for yesterday, right? They're using my two best wood gathering guards. You saw me go to food. They're using my best food gathering guards. And... Let's go check silver. We'll see what happens over here. There's my two silver boys. Okay. That means I can set my airship up. And all honestly, because of the way the dailies work, right? You go out and gather some wood. You go out and gather some food. You go out and gather some iron. Go out and gather some silver. And that gives you the most points towards... For you New Kingdom guys that are listening, how do I get this stuff? There you go. Shooting gallery. <coughs> so this is going to get you those points for that shooting gallery stuff. But that's how you get your dailies done. Gather a little bit of everything. Man, I'm having quick issues. I don't know if that's game or computer. The... You know, I'm so conscious of the sound now. I hear that that uh, vibration that's part of my voice. Yeah. I need to smoke more weed so I have a more very white tone. Hi, Angel. The... Uh, Walker and Noodle. <laughs> you know what to do with noodles, man. They flick them against the wall to see if they're done. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah, the... Uh, I have been very fair to Fun Plus, even though they have not been to me. The uh, I truly believe that structurally there is a very high-end strategy game here that should be expanded to beyond Fortnite capability. The problem is they're getting in their own way and hating the fact that they're getting criticized over what is interface issues okay look a graphics guy does not understand human mechanics and you can't go over to your company psychiatrist and say what's the best way we can squeeze more money out of everybody to make our quarterly budget because I would like to know if we, when you guys hold a meeting have any of you talked about where you're going to be in 18 months because if you hadn't held that conversation about how what, what the goal is in 18 to 24 months, then you don't have a plan for growing your market. You have a plan for sponging off your market. The web has changed from the early days when I was on it. When I first started on the web, it took me less than 24 hours to spend 10 bucks and make 10000 You cannot do that anymore. That was actually my voice with that weird sound. The, uh, you cannot do that anymore. The, it's weird talking without my, my monitor headphones on. Uh, the, 
Of course, I got them right there, but I don't have it set up. The challenge of today is when we're doing anything on the web, and this includes Rogers Raiders. When I decided in January of last year that I was going to go ahead and develop Rogers Raiders, it was no longer going to be a scratch pad for me to talk to my alliance, and I went and jumped to a new kingdom and started from scratch and then set everything forward, I knew we wouldn't be anywhere for a year. I'm actually way ahead of schedule. The uh, But my plan for the amount of traffic, viewers, and all that stuff, I was looking for maybe 10, 12,000 a month by December. We see that a day, uh, not a month. So, but I've also started expanding into the World of Warcraft stuff, which brings us across platform. I like the World of Warcraft because of the complexity that the vanilla had in its strategy stuff. It's one of the reasons I was drawn to Guns of Glory. It's just the the pay model is deprecated. The customers are now wise to the quick money grab thinking where you buy a win. and But you have a foundational game here that could grow into tournament play where people pay to be in tournaments, where alliances pay to be, be involved in tournaments. And because they buy packages to be involved in tournaments, you, you could be charging alliances $250 a month to compete in a fair tournament, but not if the players can buy the stats. The, uh, you're going to find lots of people who will pay on behalf of their alliance to involve them in a tournament. I'd be one of them. The, uh, I'd, I'd fork over the 250 bucks every month so that my alliance could participate in a tournament where the loot was worth it. You know, if I had 10 people in there, $2,500 for that one event and the 10 alliances, then the top three alliances in that event get to take the 20, let's say the $2,500 worth of loot that got bought goes into a pool. But man, you can't turn around and say, and here's what we're going to tell you you're going to give you. Here's your pile of wood for having spent uh, $2,500 with us. You can't do that. And then go, <laughs> can you believe they bought wood for $2,500? These guys are stupid. We're not stupid. We wanted to play in the event. You're the one that, that pulled the joke on the other end with the money. So if, we're going to, if you're going to start listening, start listening to everything here. There is a unspoken communication of reaction and reaction. If you didn't learn anything from this, I got to say you learned something. Something changed over Fun Plus. Fun Plus has never reacted in this way to my videos before. I have gotten hate mail. I've gotten spiteful stuff. I get people who, they, I'll tell you one of the reasons they went through the video so bad. I stopped talking in my chat rooms and stopped talking in game. I knew my in game chat was being monitored. I have no privacy to talk to players and ask them questions. The last month and a half, I went silent in their game because I told every one of you guys, if you want to communicate with me, go to rogersraiders.com and PM me or use the forums. They can't monitor that. So when we have to have a conversation about what we're going to do next, I've got to have some privacy. And that privacy does not exist with Discord, and that privacy does not e exist with Line. Those are state-owned Chinese companies. The... Uh, any company that wants access to monitor a chat room there just has to fill out some paperwork and they can monitor your chat. That's why I don't use Discord. There's no privacy to Discord. The, uh, the anything, it's, that's why these companies came out of nowhere and suddenly said, and we're using Discord for our, uh, our customer service. And two years ago, everybody was like, who the hell's the score? Why wouldn't you use a chat service everybody knows about? Hell, why not just use Twitter where it's out in the open? The, uh, you know, they, I promise you, open communication 
is that people can see is better communication. Uh, I've had 10 5 10 for a while now. Or 10 10 5. Somebody asked me the other day, he's like, why do you have them in the specifics and not in the generals? Because these are stats and this is damage, and that's why. They were smart. They'd make the gun use guard. Try and capitalize. Look, it, it's not going to be hard for the market to notice. They, they, they really did. They filed complaints with YouTube. They tried to misdirect traffic. They, uh, it, it's, it's hard for them to understand that I get. That their 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 trolls that they send after me speak in certain man certain mannerisms, or they, God, what was their? When they train people to get into this section over here, deny everything and uh, who me? I'm just the plumber over here, just randomly talking. You know, they their their entire getting involved in that platform is how to lie to everybody you know. So that you're part of some super secret organization that is a year behind on its graphics. Congratulations. The uh, you're you're in a super secret organization that's playing catch up, and they haven't embraced yet the thinking of how are we going to get ahead of our market so that the next thing we do grows our customers instead of stop gaps the bleeding which is what they're doing at this point they're stop gapping the bleeding and i've gotten a stream health is poor the entire time we've been doing this i hope it's not as bad as what youtube's telling me that it is three sixty video we haven't gotten into that yet but we're gonna I would say end of next year, I would like to be into stereo and holographic video capabilities inside here. The I'm going to have enough equipment in this space that what I do, that we're going to wind up scheduling time in front of the hardware for people to come in and run their own YouTube channels. And I kind of stole that idea from, from YouTube. I'm big enough now that YouTube will give me free studio time. I don't live in L.A. Or San Francisco, rather. The uh, So I'm just going to build my own studio here. Yeah, I'm behind. I hadn't wanted to buy any. I just... I probably can open one now. Yeah. Oh, look at that. I can open almost two of them. I probably don't have the iron. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I'll have it here. Well, that was silly. How about we open all those? That's the next step of repair in here. They didn't fix my Easter egg. The uh <laughs> some of this stuff, why is it going in here for me to open it? Uh just go send that straight to the airship. Stop the bag clutter. First of all, if you do it that way, it's a server uh lag reducer just go I mean you're 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 creating interface lag and 
buying more bandwidth because your developers have got this two-three click system. So this is a money saving issue where you can put money back into proper development if you're not wasting time and money on bandwidth and more servers instead of better servers. Uh, I do love that feature, guys. I don't ever have to unbag more than I, I need right now. Especially for events like this. It could have been better timing. Of course, I don't have to worry about it eating my food because I got no troops. All right, so we go Calvary. There we go. Yeah, it, it's when it becomes a common joke that you know they, they took $200 from you that you didn't get to use because they closed out a timer or event on you and somebody issued a report about how they made more money than they used instead of seeing that how do I how do I analogize that okay at the end of every day in every grocery store on the planet they count down the cash door all right and it is a bad thing when there's le le less cash in the drawer than what's supposed to be. But if it's off by 45, 50 cents or a couple, three dollars, that's not somebody stealing that's counting the change back wrong. All right. And it's how you identify a problem. But the worst thing that could happen to a store is for the cash drawer to have too much money in it. All right. So this is Mathematical Business Accounting 101. We got all this crap in our bags. This is the equivalent to a cash drawer that's supposed to have $100 in it, according to the ticker tape, but it has $250 in it. You had to cheat a customer for that to happen. And that's the thing that people are not getting, that, that FunPlus is not getting, because they're not... They've never run a grocery store. They've never run a business. There's 2,000 years of history in how to, uh, what happens when the cash register has got too much money into it. And that is, the, the, a business knows that the negative will spread 10 times faster and 15 times further than the positive will. So you got your change right. Whoop de frickin' do that's your job. But here you didn't get your change right. You robbed me of what I paid for. Okay? And that makes the negative spread ten times further, ten times faster. Just keeps going and going and going. The uh people would will much and, and it's and from a YouTube video standpoint, I can tell you for a fact that negative gets me more views. That's why my update videos are always my most watched videos. And for the simple reason that people want to hear the negative stuff. The, uh, that's how my gun magazine got to be so popular. I was the first gun reviewer that ever, in the first paragraph, trashed a gun. I would take the marketing of the company and review their product based on what they said it would do. You know what a product will never do? It'll never do what the marketing department says it does. The uh, I learned that in the 90s. I used to work on atomic accelerators, ion implanters. Sales teams would come into my customers like Motorola 
and sell 15 of these $3 million machines. And then I, as a field engineer, would come in there and I say, well, the sales guy said it would do 300 wafers an hour. I go, no, it won't do 300 wafers an hour. It's only going to do 110. Well, I wanted to do 300. And I'd be in there redesigning something that's got four years worth of design in it already to make it do what the marketing team said it's going to do. And in the computer world, you all know this analogy, you go buy a 500 uh, gigabyte disk and it's only 420 gigabytes, 480 gigabytes. Well, it used to be the excuse because the disk was round and it was 500 when it was square. Well, first of all, they're never square. The, uh, and then they're cut out to be round and you lost it. That excuse doesn't fly in the solid state world. If you say there's 500 gigs worth of storage on the outside of the package, you're capable of putting 500 gigs of storage inside that package. That's the marketing and bullshit going, you know, how far can we cheat the customer with what we lied to them about what we sold them? And it's becoming a common business practice by college kids who think that's the way business is run. There's not a small business in the planet who thinks that's the way business is run. There's not a customer who thinks they should be treated that way by business. The digital world has got no excuses for adopting a formula to cheat the customer before you make the first sale. And that's what this is. This page right here is a reflection of the cash drawer having too much money in it at the end of the day. You... You took more money in from the customer than you delivered product. You know and I know these are like $200, like right there. That, every one of these represents damn near a dollar. Look at how many of them I got. What were the, How much were those? Like uh, 100 of them for 10 bucks, something like that. So there's another $20. There's 271s of the Corsair coupons. And eventually, you'll convert that to 2K wood, which is insulting me twice. Right? Look at that. I got 741 of them things. So, I'm hoping we'll go back to this because, I, like I said, I've seen a new... Guys, the train button, I don't mind the new train window. I kind of like it a little better. You took the slide left and right and made it slide up and down. Woohoo! What a What a challenge that must have been. Okay. Uh, see that speed up button right there? Why aren't my training speed ups there? You just proved yesterday you can make massive changes in a couple days. Make my training speed ups automatic. I've seen how you're jumping. You've already built the foundational code for it. I know you have because I watched it jump to my training speed ups, jump to my three hours, to my to, to my one hours, to my five minutes, all automatically for me. They reduce clicks. Finish it and put it on the training page. Uh, we can go look at here. Okay, first of all. Man, something's got to be done with the numbers on this. We all know that. There's whatever's coming. But add those buttons right here for the training speed-ups. It's where I can just, if I've got 3,000 training speed-ups that I bought from you, don't punish me by sucking down five hours of my time using them. Because you put training speed-ups in the game, and all honestly... These tents shouldn't be capping your volume per batch anymore. They should, I'm sorry, where this is a part of your training capacity, eliminate the training capacity. Just eliminate it. The, because you're selling speed ups. You're not selling the training capacity. Freaking... Go over there, put the speed ups in the window, and eliminate the caps. Again, a reduction in server load and a reduction in aggravation. 
I said a long time ago, this should have been turned into a essence instead of a speed up. That just was a puddle. That it takes so many, you know, that a speed up was worth one essence. One minute of speed up was worth one essence. And you treated it like the gold, the gold spin. Put another bar down here. Here's your essence. Got rid of it all. The, uh, and then that way when we go into our Royal Expeditions, I don't have to sit here and do this. This is not fun. This is a chore I have to accomplish every day so that I can participate once every two weeks. I don't get satisfaction from clicking anymore. The market is changing. People who are getting an adrenaline high from clicking the button on their phone aren't playing this game. They, people get a high playing this game from the strategy that used to be there. You've literally got the convert. You have, you have effectively made the conversation swing back to, I seen a bigger stat report. I don't. I need to bubble and not play. That's what started your downslide to begin with. You're right back to it. I see. Uh, the builders convert to gold, Beard. They did do that a long time ago. Like, I don't have any to show you. Yeah, those extra builders, click on them. They synthesize into 500 gold. You should take a time and see what they fixed. I mean, like, once in a blue moon, go in here and see if there's something you can do to convert, to clean up your bags. Apparently, I need 14 vampire lords running around out there, right? Every once on a freaking great blue moon, a vampire lord will just come out of nowhere. I know that they have a version control problem inside Fun Plus, and or somebody wants to keep bringing back hacks and loopholes and hoping nobody else noticed that they brought it back. But we check them. Every patch, we go check for the holes that we knew existed before. Just so the Fun Plus guys know. And it's not just me. It's about 100, 150 guys that like go through a checklist of known holes to see if you built this new patch off an old version and think you're going to merge it in later. So software version control has been an issue in the past. And I can also tell you, everybody's getting a little pissed off about the, the red lights, guys. It, it does force us to look, which is the point of the red light. But when it's wrong, it's lying to us. And I've looked, and it's not going to go away. There's no reason for telling me to upgrade that. There's nothing to synthesize down below. The other day I thought, oh, look at all this stuff I could I could dismantle. But that's not it. They will lose on equipment and guard that offer extra troop training. That's time. The... Uh, if it's a reduction in time, it's a reduction in cost. That works no different than their healing. They've already got they've already got that code built. If I go in here to heal and it's instance twenty seven gold and I go change out my gear. If I click on the right thing. I don't think that's me. It might be because I got... Let me look at the stream health again. It still says poor. So I'm going to say this lag is me right now, not the game. 
All right. Now, I want you guys to notice right there what just happened. I just put my heel gear on, and my cost just went up. Hold on. Yes, the only you just watched that on film. The only thing I did, and I did change something that time. That went from twenty-seven to thirty-five. Got all my heel gear on. That brought it down a little bit. That was insane. So there's something bugged about that one piece of gear, right? Which was my trap stompers. And we're all hoping that at some point here we get two more freaking gear sets. Uh, at least two more gear sets. And guys, I, I cannot, I, I, I really cannot compliment them enough at the quick response to doing exactly what I asked them to do. How can I complain? I, not just that they did it, but does anybody see a flaw with the way it's working? Uh, I'm testing it now. All right, I need troops. See, it jumped right on the 60 minute there and then jumped straight to the training five minutes to finish it off. I love that. That is a massive improvement to a chore, especially at my level. The... uh so, like I said, if you're going to turn around and sell somebody else, see, here's the disconnect with the White Tiger, guys. If you want to know why I know that's the, the bullshit, is because of how much he had to spend to find me, to get to me, and to zero me on a kingdom we never faced until we had a video conflict. So somebody over there is engaging players or one of the developers has a hack account that they're using knowing who we're going to roll. But the fact that we've rolled that same kingdom in the last five events tells me there's a problem. I can also say that Kingdom 362 has not faced a younger kingdom ever than us. Ever. And on behalf of everybody in the entire kingdom who has been leading the growth of your game, I promise you, please knock that crap off. At some point in time, we need to be the older, wiser people. Because we need to be stabilized in order to move to the next level of training people to play the game strategically. So that they get addicted to the strategy portion of it and they spend money to play that. I've got, you guys monitor my mails. You know how many people turn around and tell me that their entire kingdom is doing better because they got their entire kingdom to follow some of the stuff I'm putting out. Yeah, kingdom loudspeaker. 
it's never gone away. I don't I don't know what the thinking is that, that it's never gone away. Uh, no one's liked it. Nothing good's ever come on it. And it's never gone away. Tell you what I need to do. State bus. Because I know I need iron. Let's go do that. Oh, I forget. I got. I'm still doing. I'm. I'm still stuck in the pattern of doing things like we've done it forever. See, I'm not even gonna be able to finish that tile. And that has been a problem with the Ike. The Ike has stopped people from farming RSS. Uh, there's been some overlay timing things. And I honestly don't, I, I've, I've got some ideas on day, time of day optimization. Well, here's the problem with the loudspeaker thing. You can't not blame the kingdom that allowed that guy to be king. Who's my pick for March? Which March? For like an attack March? Now see, it auto put these in here. I didn't do that. So let's look what it auto picked. Well, I don't want to gamble. That was a gamble pick, right? This, oh, and well, I needed to get to this. So they changed this interface up to where you can select. Benoit will launch a holy strike after every five attacks against the enemy, dealing an amount of damage. They've made these descriptions so much better. Kudos, kudos, kudos. This, I mean, there, there was some time spent here. This was not one guy working on it. Because uh, I'm one guy working on my end, and I ain't even close to getting this done. The... Uh, the fact that I can go like this, the uh, from one to the next is amazing. Tell you, I like Gaston's stats. I honestly would swap Moppin out for attacking because I have her on the wall. The new interface is going to make it easier for me, which is going to make it easier for you guys, I promise. I don't know that they idiot-proofed it there, Jeremy, but 
the uh, they they damn sure made it easier. I I 100% kudos. Uh, I, I'm I'm not unhappy with that at all. So let's look at the formation portion of it. Look at what we did to change the conversation in less than 48 hours. I see more, I like this, I like that. There hasn't been, I like this on an update in 10 months. Oh, shit. Well, I just screwed up my main formation. <laughs> yes, the fact that we can add these in my formation will help the hell out of... See, and I'll tell and I'll tell the Fun Plus guys because it's about to happen at five o'clock anyway. Everybody wants some kind of advantage for a better wolf score. So you talk about a free giveaway that would make everybody feel good about themselves and it wouldn't change the inter kingdom dynamics at all, because everybody would move up at the same time anyway. <coughs> but throw one of those benefits out to those guards that says increase damage to event uh, beast so that you have a guard that specifically for uh, vampire lords the wolf on every other you know every Friday that's just for putting stupidly big numbers up that don't mean anything because everybody's playing with the same relevant guard uh you you, you got to think that way so to the point of the the survey that i skipped what new guard would i like to see i'm telling you it's not that i would like to see it it would be the, to their benefit to build that guard the uh just so people could go from like oh i did 30 million this week but i did 60 million next week with this new guard it's like man i hope i get more of those guard pack get more of those i want to see how big my number can get <coughs> That gets people buying guard packs again. This is what their marketing department should be doing in order to give direction to developers. I shouldn't be contacting customer support to be told, we'll, we'll, we'll notify the developers. Really. A developer doesn't know, you know what I'm talking about. The, uh, he doesn't know why I'm saying it. Doesn't know. A developer doesn't know that a half a million people are listening to me say it. The, uh, you know, the, the views that we get on YouTube, where you see the number of views underneath the video, those are verified YouTube views. That is not the people who share it on Facebook. YouTube will not give me a single uh, statistic for a Facebook share. And, and Facebook is trying to force me to upload my videos to Facebook, which is a completely separate, tedious task. And when someone figures out a piece of software that downloads my YouTube videos and uploads it to Facebook, that person can charge me 50 bucks a month every month, and I will pay it. The uh, It is software feasibly possible without much complication, all I should have to do and, and build it as a uh, plug-in built into Firefox. And all I got to do is open and log into both accounts, download from one, upload to the other, move the metadata over. And maybe do that for Twitch and Twitter and anything else that's wanting videos to try and catch up with YouTube. But my God, don't make me duplicate my time. And Facebook's a pain in the ass. The... Uh, the and if you're going to build that software, if you're listening to me and you've got that can of Kate Billy says, man, I could do that. Make it so that I can download that to a remote server. Use it like I've got a thousand meg connection sitting in Dallas, but I'm on a freaking 20 meg connection here with a two meg upload. So I would much rather download it with my remote server and upload it with my remote server and be done in 10 seconds per video make a Linux make a Linux program that'll do it 
the uh, just something I can PHP based the uh, that I can download to my server, upload from my server, and uh, make use of it. I, I I think that would work with even a cheap GoDaddy account or a uh, cheap Yahoo account. No, traps are com the traps have to be coming. The reason I say traps have to be coming, I hate I hate to think that and that's because I, I told you guys I said, look, look at her. She has increased trap stuff. Okay, so that was me using the books. I don't even know where I got the books, to be honest. I haven't been paying attention. Uh, that Was that one of the guard things? Exchange. That's something I'm getting from dailies. I haven't been paying attention. I, I'm sorry on that one. I will buy more learning stuff, though. About to do another one. Go get me another savage attack. There you go. Uh, got me a savage attack. Go get me another solid defense. Okay. I think you're supposed to, you're saying Dumas. Revenge's wolf calculator will eke you out about 3% more, so mine's just easier to use a little bit than his is. Mine's plug and play, and that was a marketing decision. Uh... I could build a database driven thing and I just it, it's it's a lot of work to do what he's already done and I'm not here to steal traffic from him uh, yeah that's it's not my goal in life I mean I'm not working with him in that capacity I'm not working against him either you know I'm happy to recommend people go I've always found in business, it's always good to tell people, go check out my competitor. And if they don't come back, then I better figure out what I'm doing wrong and not turn around and bitch about what he's doing right. The, uh, you know, he's, he's doing it right. He's got that one calculator. Now, does he return the favor and send people over to me for PVP where mine's better? Nope. So it's a one-way street. The, uh... Yeah, we need five formation buttons. Now that they've made this update, slide this up a little bit and make six formation buttons. I know guys who say if they wanted to charge me $100 for another formation button, I would buy it. I mean, that's especially people who are already spending stupid money. The uh, And it'd be one of those things where during one of these uh, bonus events, these top-up events, you know, extra formation button for having spent $49. I guarantee you the day they put that, real coiners will spend the money to get that formation button. They really will. Me being one of them. So if they're looking for things to sell, they're, they're you know, it, it's... That's where it is. The first three were free. The next three cost money. You know, I'm sitting here with a stockpile of freaking stamina.
I wish they would figure out. I think somewhere in events that your top three packages in UAC should include a one-day Merc ship. It's once every two weeks. Uh, I think it's an activity generator. Yes, it's a $19 prize. But the and it really is something that you should not allow the alliance leader to determine who gets that Merc, that top package. That Merc ship bonus should really go to the highest score in loot. The top three highest scores get in in, in your alliance get Merc ships. Get one get a one day Merc ship pack. Because rarely are the highest scorers always the biggest castles. But if you want to get your big castles more active, which is a goal that the game should be pursuing, that would be one way of doing it. Thomas Oman. I'm that source, Thomas. <laughs> uh, no later than February. I think I've, I mentioned 41's coming. Matter of fact, I got a video called 40, uh, C41's No Longer a Rumor. You know, that's a good way of putting it there, Tyrone. Uh, the, uh, man, I see the, the gas mask. The, the, see the little icon next to Tyrone's name? That's a gas mask if you can't see the icon. That's his second month. So everybody after the first month gets a little, gets a different icon. I guess I need to make that brighter. That's just something I threw up in there. I was like, who's going to pay for these things to go for two months? The uh, So he's into his second month. Uh, but yeah, just having, instead of having five, what if there was a second airship? challenged where I could get a permanent second airship in my king in my man I would love that and I think it should be something let's let's take from the world of warcraft that I like so much I think I should have to do about 2 months worth of stuff that you cannot buy to activate that second airship permanently I think you should have to be you should have to get the Lord level 45 minimum. Uh, you should have at least a C35 castle, right? No, nope, let's say C30 castle. Let's make it. Let's put it in reach. Uh, the uh, a C30 castle, and then you have to score so many points in a UAC event. You can't do KVK because that's a freaking a crapshoot. You could be in the most vicious KVK ever, and if they don't hit your tower, you don't score any points. Point scoring for people who have to babysit a tower that doesn't get hit needs to be changed because they are boring the crap out of players during KVK with the current point setup. <coughs> the new loot drove people to KVK, but the scoring portion of it is driving people away. So it was a short-lived burst on that one. Matter of fact, the problem's worse now than before they improved the loot. Uh, before it was about the strategy, then it became about the loot, then it became about how many troops do I, now we're doing a math calculation, how many troops do I have to kill and or have die in order to get that loot, and is those troops dying worth more money than what if I just bought the it became a money calculation and not a freaking uh, strategic one. And so you've got your best players in the game that spend money in the game trying to figure out how to not play the game in a way so they can get the most per dollar out of it. 
because the game has become about the most loot per dollar and not strategic kills and point taking. Well, that's what I'm saying on the, instead of having five that you buy for one day, what about just a second airship that we, we spend a couple months earning? Uh, it's a new challenge you can add to the game. It's not a great big mechanical change, so the cost of development's low. Uh, the, uh, and it will change the dynamic of whether or not an airship is home or not, depending on the wonders. The wonder cost needs to be adjusted at some point. And why there hasn't been a healing wonder added to this game, I don't know. There should be some 5,000 gold, not 50%, but like a 300% healing wonder for 5,000 gold. That, that should exist. Uh, better yet, how about a 24-hour, but it costs 10,000 gold, 30% battlefield treatment uh, wonder? I'll spend, I'll spend 10,000 gold on that. The uh, That means you know if I bought that, I'm going to engage somebody. But it means I have to give up some top stats in order to save some troops. See how it works there? The uh, So that would be a good game mechanic that would be nice. Not about the game? Go to RogersRaiders.com. And there's a PM, a private message thing, private message gun use. Yeah, I put that into the website because LinkedIn was pissing me off. The uh, I've been using LinkedIn for years because it is an adult business interface platform. I have 2,500 reporters who follow me on LinkedIn. LinkedIn. I have some... 2,200 special operators around the world who follow me on LinkedIn. And then I got a whole bunch of contractors who follow me to find those special operators. The, and I have been, once upon a time, I owned a vaping magazine called Sky Vape Magazine. It has never ended that I get people requesting to be a contact in LinkedIn to try and sell me their Chinese clone freaking vape pens. I don't know what the mechanic would be for permanent merc ships. The, uh, I think if they just flat out... Sometimes they, they play this game where they trickle the stuff in. And they try to get people over time. I think something as uber as that. So what's a week? A week is a hundred bucks. You know, so they're thinking permanent work sh merc ships is worth uh, fifty-two thousand dollars a year. They're not getting it. So what they need to do is figure out what they are getting. Reduce that to 30% of what they're, what the current people are paying, and that's probably the sweet spot to what a permanent Merc ship pack would, which should cost. Like me, I buy Merc ships once every two weeks. Maybe. Not even that often. So if you took the average players, the average players, whether they buy Merc ships or not buy Merc and you make this average out of it, and come down to about 30% of what the, the spin was on the make on that, and you'd probably find the marketing sweet spot to what a permanent merc ship package should really cost, and not go, well, we're charging $52,000 a year now. We'll just we'll just save them a bunch of money and only charge them $30,000. Yeah, you're not getting a new car from me. Sorry. Uh, the uh, That's a loaded Hyundai there. The... Uh,
I'll give China more of my money when they start selling Mustangs there. And not not the 500 a year that they allow to be imported. <coughs> when it is just as many as what people want to buy. That is something, you know, uh, I was complaining yesterday about that VIP stacking up my bag. I'm avoiding spending. Where's it at? Uh, daily deal. Skipped right over the $4.99 package and bought a $9.99 package. Because the $4.99 package is not a good deal for me. Because they're valuing the VIP that I don't need. So the good deal for me is the $9.99 package because I need guard banners. <coughs> and I only bought one of them. The uh, I may go back my... I can tell you right now the timing of their daily deals. They don't understand the U.S. or Britain's market of paydays. They literally end the good deals people would spend money on a day before paydays every time. Yeah, the the fu but it's a power advantage too, though. There, Tyrone. Like I said, if they were to combine a two or a three merch ship option, the uh, I, I would say when you release Castle Forty Ones, starting at Castle Level Thirty, you should get a second airship. And then at 35, you get a third airship. And at level 40, you get a fourth airship. And at level 45, you get the fifth airship. Does that sound reasonable that that promotes getting to level 45 and adds entertainment power? You, you know, right now, you all got you guys all complain about me not freaking upgrading when you see how many badges I got. I'm almost 6,000. <laughs> the... Uh, <laughs> the uh man i you guys are trying and trying and trying to sucker me into some live podcast all the thinking time the uh and i'm getting the studio thing here set up that, that it's a re right now you see me blinded by light i i moved this this was sitting in front of my only window in my office uh i was gonna have to move it anyway because the fire marshal gave me grief about that but i had it in front of my window to block light so uh Sometime this weekend, I got to go get blackout curtains, and then I've got to address being able to turn off the lights in here individually. Uh, I've got these little Wi-Fi things. I got to crawl up in the roof and install the Wi-Fi stuff, and then when I turn off the lights that are above me and in front of me, like I'm planning on doing, that means I'm going to have to get a studio-specific light. To light me up for camera. Right. There's no incentive for me to go to C40 until I can actually build troop buildings. Look, I've got enough badges to be a C40. But I'd be a paper C40. So there's no point to me doing it. And... While I've got enough badges to get to C40 and I could push one of my troop buildings up to C38. Now, granted, give me a week or two and I could push that one troop building C40 and start building T12s in that one troop building. But I couldn't use one layer of T12s. It messes, when you have one troop building of T12s, it screws up the uh, formation setup for this event. I had that. I don't lose those.
to, to, to sit there and go, I don't lose. What, what the oh, Holy crap, what am I fighting? Well, that guy's got some pretty good stats, so let's... Go after him again. Oh, probably help if I used all my troops, huh? It did not help. Infantry defense. Well, he's got some big numbers in his infantry. We'll see what it takes. Oh, he's a C40. I'm, oh, I'm. And see right there? Guy, that, that that's my T11s against his T12s. Okay, so I'm outstatting him enough that I should win. But he's got a 20% bonus and a much bigger march than me. Yeah, uh, what's my what? So he's 50,000 on my march and plus T12s, and he's stealing points from me in this event. I wasn't even paying attention that it was a C40 that early. Usually I don't get C40s that early in these rounds. Oops. So yeah, we've put out a couple good ideas here. And see, the point's not to avoid spending. But the point is that in order to go from the business model of people who spend $800 to $1,000 a month, and there's a lot of people who are doing that, to uh, trying to get $40 a week out of people because they're enjoying the game, that's done at tournament events, and you still get that $800 a month out of that guy because you make him buy packages for the alliance during the tournaments. Some type of benefit that turns – that. I've got a whole layout thing that we did with the next fun plus employee that's trying to launch his own game. Uh, and quite frankly, I don't think he gets it. So I know why he doesn't work at fun plus no more. They, they didn't get it. And the reason I keep hitting that quick select button is because that March button keeps coming up there in lag fashion. Well, something's lagging. And you notice that the window doesn't open when I click March until I X out of it. So that that bug's been there for a couple days. That's not my connection. Uh, it's been there. And I don't like these tedious click button freaking things that we do. Uh, but... I get it as an interface to make sure people are showing up and being active. I mean, we got to the point where we were fighting combat bots early in our kingdom. The Russian alliances were really heavy at using combat bots that would auto speed up marches and auto set rallies and all kinds of scripting. And then they did put a, I want to say, three-quarter second buffer in the March return. And that was enough that a human being could beat the bot. But that's how they dealt with the bots, is they just gave us the chance to, like, uh, can you prove that you're better than a bot? The Because uh, when we were putting it out on film earlier in the year, it was like, come on, guys, you know, maybe you're just not that good, you know. Uh, and then you see a video of 15 people in the Alliance Sending March is like, yeah, apparently we're all just that bad that we can't time it to that millisecond that the March showed up to kill his troops. Uh, so you had like C-26s coming in there and just chewing up C-35s because of the combat bots. But you can't do that anymore. But yeah, well, you can. You just can't do that against me because I will get your March. Unfortunately, it'll cost me like 20,000, 30,000 gold to get you, but the uh, is what it is.
I don't need the March cap. Look, the, the reality is the bigger you are, the more people assume. So you got to understand, Jimmy, I play in these events and I play to win. So when they see C35, they don't assume that I'm going to have C40 stats. They're not under the assumption that they're going to hit. Like if I go into a tower that's this UAC with a bonus, my top stats are going to be 1,800, and my show stats are going to be 34, 3,500. Quite a shock to a freaking Uber C40 when he goes hitting me like that. Because that's because the UAC bonus is going to put me close enough to the uh, within the shooting range of what a maxed out T12 C40 has. So until I have, <coughs> and what they usually learn pretty quickly is just avoid me. Go where I'm not. And then that allows me to get my players in there and get them their loot. Because there's no loot in UAC that I need. Nothing in UAC moves me forward. They have not put crap loads of badges in UAC so that I can I can go, oh my god, I'm gonna play UAC for twenty four hours again. Just so I can I can go farm up them four hundred badges. It's once every two weeks. You know, getting a troop buildings worth of badges. One troop building every every two weeks is not a lot to ask from a, from each event. Man, I hate meetings. I used to wear a tie all the time. I know I look like a scruffy biker, but every day when I went to work, I, I had my tie on. Usually I had a Disney tie on because the secretaries liked it. And, it. and if the secretary likes you, you can get a lot done when you're when you're in a company when you're getting stuff done with the companies. The uh, uh, there is conventional wisdom. Look at my defense setup now. I'm winning 87 percent of the time on my defense results too. That's that's sad considering the crap setup that I have on that. Look at that crap march that I got on there. The whole point to this march is to let people beat me. The uh, And then they're ahead of you, so you fight weaker players when you're attacking with a proper march. That's the theory. I did that because somebody told me that's what they were doing, and I don't really see it. Uh, but maybe if all you're getting C40s, then maybe that's something you should pursue as well. Let some players buy you. Hey, there's a free one. Woo! We like EXP. We, uh... Okay, I bought all my speed ups, but I didn't buy all these. I am almost now make a complete wild ass guess prediction. They're about to introduce something new in research. More than what they just did. The reason I say that is I am one castle away from completing my research. Expedition. It will be the first time ever I completed an expedition. So, just so people know, after one year, with the superior stats that I have that puts me in upper 5%, I still cannot buy this stuff. Eight hundred dollars a month will not let you get to let you, let you use your daily loot to buy stuff to grow. That's about what it, that's about what it averaged out. I calculated it out for the end of the year stuff. About eight hundred bucks a month average is what I spent. So 
plus all the free loot was not enough. So I could have bought a house with $800 a month, but I could not buy access to those free parts that are extremely overpriced. Little kid rock there. The uh, kid rock gets better and better as he gets older. I swear to God. The uh, I didn't even start listening to him until like ten years ago, five years ago. Well after the pop hit song, because that's not even one of my favorites. All summer long or something like that. Yeah. The uh. What I got here. Woohoo! Now, again, this is one of these things where they throw the loot up, but they throw it up at random. This is our second time round at the Sky Iron, right? I would say that at the end of a second event where somebody has spent and completed. They have, I've spent the money, and I completed the challenges. This is a good representation of, of how to do this stuff. That I should have enough uh, of these sky irons to do one. And then you switch it out to something else. So that when I look at how great my stats go up, it entices me to maybe buy another stat. The uh, but as it stands, I am an epic distance away from even being close to having one. The best place to get the advanced light gems right now. Well, the WWE, this is where you get into pettiness. They come to me and they say, would you please take down your WWE video? WWE is complaining. What they didn't know at the time, and this is what started this petty fight between me and them, long before Revenge went out there and had them pissed off at every damn video influencer. And I'll guarantee you, Revenge probably cost them more money that they came back and are responding to me in a more positive light. Because I'm not trying to kill their market. If they really paid attention before, when they issued their second anniversary video, the number one suggested video next to it was by one of their developmental insiders, Phoenix Rising, who's turned around and said, the reasons you need to quit GOG. That was next to their anniversary video. GOG could have worked with me and made, and pushed that negative garbage out. And then we could have worked all year long on developing improvements to this game so that the next reskin and relaunch, because it's going to have to happen, doesn't get the negative light that this one did because of the negative way that they set developers against their customers. You'd swear to God this was an American newspaper because that's the only other market that I know of where you can trash the people who buy your product. It's, the American newspapers, the New York Times literally trashes the people who reads it. It's insane. Wasn't that way before Legacy. It wasn't until the War Books came out that the T11s were that much more powerful. Damage on top of the core value made a humongous step. And it was a necessary step 
because the number of people using my formations got is is gotten to be close to 80 90 percent of the of the game on thursday fridays and saturdays the website traffic to check their formations with is scary big number the uh the this is where i know i'm getting almost a half a million what we get on the youtube is nothing that's and that's what people can see the, you're not required to join to use the formation calculator. So there's only 10,000 people, or we're almost to 10,000 people on the on the for, forums. And then when we break 10,000, I'm going to use that first 10,000 people as a market standard. And then I'm going to add in the Google login and see if I can tie the website to the Google platform. But I needed one year and a good solid number so i'm going to wait till the 10,000 number because it's a nice fat round number to work with and then i'm going to tie, tie the google platform to it because the number of people who have a fake robotic ability to log in with a google account i'm going to bet is much higher than facebook right now definitely higher than linkedin linkedin's a very aggressive security system uh i love it Man, you don't have to finish them start to finish. Is somebody got a whip behind you forcing you to watch it there, Ron? I go way off topic. I just, I'm sitting in a room by myself. I'm just... Money, what should you do? Well, you take it and you store it someplace that that they can't get to it. That's what you do. That's what you do with the money. The uh... I, I'm telling you, the game needs to understand. They need to have a serious conversation between development and investors and say, look, we're going to take an 18-month approach, and rather than try and reskin the crap and overcome the marketing problem we have, with the same people in marketing doing the new one, oh my freaking gosh, the, uh, we're going to take one of our platforms and we're going to try and change the entire business model of that one platform. And I would suggest it be Guns of Glory because you haven't completely lost your market on that. There is, and I've built up enough of a draw from the outside back in that if you start making these changes, I think the I think the integration will be. <clears throat> I'll tell you one of the things I would love to see, and they need to understand how third party works. Uh, you want me doing articles, you want me doing videos. More importantly, you want me building stuff that somebody can. Uh, come over to my site, build their formation for the way they're doing it on their computer, and then API link into their phone where it where their phone just asks for the unique URL for my website. That would be their encrypted code and what data they need for my website to implement into the game. It's a passive pull. It does not transfer any personal data to me. And it makes the user experience outstanding and because people have to visit the website and I get advertising dollars from it my goal is to gonna have as many people positively using the game as possible so that they keep using my website that's how you make a synergetic bond and that's what we when I say proper influencer program I promise you there is very few proper influencer programs out there the uh, World of Warcraft has a department dedicated to it, and then they allow third-party add-ons to just do whatever they're going to do. 
But World of Warcraft has not turned around and said, you know what, they are third party, and we're going to make you submit those add-ons to us, and then we're going to give you a menu in the game where you can select those from us. And then we're going to give, based on their usage, we're going to give a royalty, a few pennies here and there. The market's so big that those developers who are making $500 a month, if they got literally a tenth of a cent per user, they'd be, you know, $200,000, $300,000 a year and would be massively improving their add-ons. The, uh, the Google Play Store, the Amazon Play Store, and, well, the Microsoft Play Store, which this thing isn't available on, they need to turn around and make their Fun Plus platform available from the Microsoft so that it's direct PC interfaced uh, versus having to use emulators. Because if they did that, they would really expand their market greatly. Especially since there is such a good strategy portion of the game to this. If they would focus on developing this into a, a Microsoft Xbox, and that's an Xbox thing. The, uh, what's Perto? I don't remember what Perto means. I'm lost. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what he's saying. What am I doing? So our guards are doing good. See, I don't know why I'm farming wood. I never farm wood. Well, and I'll tell you, here's the thing, 357. The conventional wisdom, and I fight conventional wisdom. Peter Wolf, how you doing, man? I'm, I'm glad to see you're in there. Uh, the the uh, short attention span. I got players who are absolutely vocal about my videos being more than 15 minutes, and Esquay keeps his down to 10, 15 minutes long. Well, and I had I had somebody in there the other day. like, well, I went over to Esquay, and he gave me the update without the, uh, the, the, so, so, I'll say soliloquy. I can't say it. The uh, epically long monologue that I do. And I'm like, okay, but I have to promote Esqua in order for him to get traffic growth. The, uh, the, and, and I'm happy to do it. He's a different type of personality. He talks to people in a different way, and a lot of people appreciate that. That's where the proper influencer program comes from. You're not hiring me to be your influencer. You're hiring me to guide your influencers. Make sure your influencers are on top topic. Make sure your influencer has suggestions and ideas. It is not to tell them how to talk about it. It is not to tell them what to do with it. But it is one of those things where I have to go back and look over the last month and say, did he promote the topic well? If he did, then what Fun Plus should do is be handing me a package full of gift codes that I can hand him some of them and say, okay, during your next live event, hand out three gift codes to the to the people who come in there and hold these conversations. Because Fun Plus is learning from these conversations we're holding. They're not paying for it right now. Woohoo! Wows people. Are you one of my wild players? Thank you very much. For those who don't know where he turns around in there, you got the orange symbols and you got the gas mask symbols. And then you just seen where WoWs clicked the join button there. Uh, that money goes straight to my military charities. We fill the gap without the bureaucracy. And we argue with the IRS all the time about how we do that. There are rules for how military charities work, and they are IRS rules. Uh, and I spent a little over 18 months, about $62,000 on lawyers, trying to get my way of doing things versus their way of doing things. 
they really want a financial report from my charity every single month, uh, which I'm happy to do. But what I don't, but involved in that, they're not entitled to our uh, meeting notes, even though they keep asking for them. The uh, they don't get them from any other organization. I don't. They they act like you're too stupid to know. <coughs> and they, because I do have to hold meetings. The uh, I have to keep notes to prove that we do things a certain way. And then that's where your money goes. The uh, All the money that I spend in the game comes out of my pocket. All the money and hardware that you see going up around me comes out of my pocket. I would have spent that money anyway. The, uh, the I'm trying to prove something to the three oldest military charities. I started a fourth charity. I tell you guys I contribute to fourth charity. And trying to prove that we can digitally fund through proper growth and community development online and feed a charity with it. I am one person running this thing, and we are going to break $40,000 by, by December 31st uh, and what we're going to give away this year. So this has absolutely been beyond a wild stream. If we would have got $250 a month, all year long, I'd have called this a success. So to give away forty grand this year, blown away. I can't wait to get five hundred other people just like me doing what I'm doing, feeding this thing. You guys are gonna love the next stage of the charity that we've already we we planned it before on day one. And we're gonna build hobby shops. All right, and what I mean by a hobby shop is. You're going to have this epically big center that your whole community can go to. And if it wants to learn how to build a cabinet, literally it's adult wood shop that you didn't get in school. Or automotive shop. All the tools are there. You don't have to buy the tools. You're just going to rent the bay. Uh, it's, you can go in there for $10 and change your own oil. Just go in there and have a, a real bay to do it in. So you're not polluting the environment and dumping it down the drain because you did it in your driveway, things like that. Uh, and if you're a woman or or one of the modern men, the uh, the <laughs> I'll get to this in just a second. The uh, that doesn't know how to turn a screw or bolt, somebody's going to show you how to do that. The uh, so. The thing that got me giggling there, you remember Pajama Boy? The Pajama Boy at the bad for Obama? What's funny is they won't let Jerry Seinfeld on the campuses because he's too conservative. I was watching a Jerry Seinfeld thing on Hulu last night, and Jerry Seinfeld is in his T-shirt and his plaid frickin' pajama pants sitting around eating cereal. He was like the original Pajama Boy. Frickin' trying to avoid work the uh <laughs> and i just thought it was so ironic that 20 years later that he was too conservative for these people the uh it's not completely my idea it, when i was in the navy in 1990 we had hobby shops when bill clinton took over the presidency they shut down all that stuff cuz bill clinton held a garage sale any piece of military property got sold for pennies on the dollars to one of the people who contributed to his campaign. So you had entire... So I, as a sailor, could turn around and go pull my car. Of course, I can't work on my car out in the parking lot, right? That's not realistic. But I could go pull it over to the Naval Hobby Shop, park it there, pay a monthly fee, and tear my car apart and paint it, and put it back together... And have all the tools and everything I need in a clean environment to do it right. And I didn't, I, I didn't have to try and do it in a parking lot. I didn't have to go out and, of course, back then I think uh, when I first joined the Navy, I made four hundred and twenty dollars a month. The uh, is 
Thanks, Claudio. I don't remember seeing your name, man. You got to comment sometimes. The uh, yeah, the hobby shop idea. I will tell you what got me keyed down the road of a hobby shop idea is I've had three or four designs that I don't have a CNC machine to build a prototype with. And instead of building public libraries when we have the internet, so why are we spending $8 million building a place to store books that nobody goes to except to put kids in a circle and read a book that costs $5 that they bought on Amazon because the library didn't buy it? The We should have a public CNC machine where an individual can create a new idea, go down, and it's just publicly funded and create the concept into a real product. And then I could see if what I've designed works. I have an entire drive shaft idea for an electric car that I just don't have a CNC machine or know enough people that will own me one big enough for that to build this drive shaft that could fix the problems with electric drive systems. The uh, fifty percent. I have audited charities that were under three percent. Actually, made it to where they said the money was going. It was four years ago. We were given twenty thousand dollars away. There are 106 charities in the area that all wanted money from us, and we investigated all 106 of them. Four, four of the 106 charities actually got money to what it was they said they were a charity for. Not 104, just four. And of that four, not a one of them broke 30% of that money actually making it from point A to point B. And that was the last year we gave away 20 grand for Christmas because we couldn't trust people. It was just, we, we immediately started saying, oh, you got a P.O. box? Yeah, you're not getting any money from our charity. <laughs> the, uh, no money gets sent to a P.O. box, period. Indonesia, all right. The uh, I'm taking in what you're saying there, Wiles. I've already read it. I'm just... Okay. So, is five marches with two guards per march, and it seems like, from what I can tell, one cav guard, two infantry guards, three cav guards, four infantry guards, and five damage guards. Okay, that's the auto-select because they're sending marches back-to-back -back, is what you're telling me. Am I reading that right? See, that patch had to go in there last night before he hit me, right? Okay, so first of all, let me put stars on these three. So first march, he had mopping and that one. That was at 1347. Almost to the hour last time when he showed up. 1348. Exact same two guards. So, not only did he know he was going to beat me up, but he was blowing so much gold, he's speed marching every freaking target. Let's go to, the, let's go to number three. Same two guards. 
right? He has. I missed something. Oh. I got to fund my project. I know I could build a semi truck that would have uh, 1,500 miles of endurance on a single charge and could recharge the batteries in a little under 30 minutes. We called it Project Highway 10. We wanted to put recharging stations at the truck stops along every single one of the Highway 10s. And you all know I'm conservative here, all right? I'm not trying to get into the liberal wishy-washy crap. The reality is the trucks are going to cost $250,000 more than a regular truck. But a big rig's highest cost of income, of, of expenditure, is fuel. You want to see how fast Democrats will shoot down an environmental idea? Tell them how many tax dollars they're going to lose in lost fuel revenue. The uh, I have a design on paper to eliminate diesel fuel trucks over the road. The uh, We have the battery technology. It doesn't have to be invented. That's one of the only things Tesla ever did. Tesla has a new battery design that they didn't design themselves. Don't be giving them credit for shit they didn't do. They bought the company that did it. Uh, the company that designed the battery was making full-size electric pickups that had 700 horsepower to the rear wheels and were getting 300 miles on a charge and the battery could be recharged in 30 minutes. They only built 15 of the vehicles. Tesla bought them out. And most of the technology involved with that has disappeared from the market. Elon's a marketing freaking genius, but he's full of shit on many, many ways. The uh, Elon Musk is making billions because he knows conservatives want lower costs. And liberals want government contracts, and he figured out how to market rocket ships for both sides. The uh, Mad Cat, what's up? Man, I don't have a translator there, boss. Uh, Captain, Captain Prick is the way that reads to me. I'm not trying to insult you. <laughs> I see P R A I C with a harsh at the end of it. That's the K sound, right? First principles in ten times. Yeah, it's. And here's the bad, the reality, of it. and I can't flip it around. But I got a robot in, a, in the corner that that produces, uh, that that takes raw lead and converts it into what I mold it into. Let's say, and I got another robot that that reshapes that metal into within a micron, and I can get this stuff down to a grain of of tolerance inside my little room in here. For those who don't know what a grain is for a weight of measurement. There are 7,000 grains in a pound. So when I say I can get it within a grain, I can get it within one one seven thousandths of a pound uh, of accuracy. The uh, which makes aerodynamic projectiles very reliable. The uh, but I can't even promote. I can't even use that machine for like the last three years. I've got no strength in my muscles. Uh, I got no strength in my hands anymore. I got no dexterity in my fingers, and I'm starting to here recently start getting cramps in my hands. I can't turn a wrench. The uh, and so all the stuff I love to do, I would never have gotten into this if I could still turn a wrench. I promise you. I I, I sit here most days going, man, I need to go get the starter off my car. The uh,
Three fifty in fuel every two days. Oh, oh, you're dr you're a truck driver. Yeah, yeah. So the the big rig design we come up with this in 1996. Uh, me and another electronic engineer sat down and hashed out what the problems were. We actually designed the original electric vehicle that we designed for the military for specific use. It was designed to be a disposable doom buggy, basically, that you could sit fit inside of a helicopter. It would get 300 miles of endurance out of it, and you could put a SEAL team in it, load them full of ammo, and then when they were done with it, they could toss a hand grenade in it and just walk away. The uh, <clears throat> It's kind of what Humvees are designed to be done to them. Uh, The uh, I'm reading through the chat. I'm sorry. Yeah. So the we converted that idea. We we took that idea to the University of Torrance keeps coming to mind. That's not right. Uh, it's 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 in Orange County, uh, California. We submitted it as basis of work to get an engineering degree. And they go, oh, that's completely unfeasible. It'll never work. And then that, that university submitted our idea with a battery added to it to the government the next year and won an award for it. Uh, only they didn't win a military contract with our idea because it had a battery on it. With the battery added 3,000 pounds to the vehicle which made it completely useless to the military because you couldn't fit it in a helicopter anymore. The uh, Ours was a hybrid electric at that point in time. And like I said, it was a really small hybrid. A little two-liter Volvo engine is what we, what we concepted up that just turned a generator. Basically, fuel and parts, it ran on diesel. It was so small, it could be muffled down to nothing. You could hide the heat signature on it. And just 300 miles, and you throw them away. the The whole cost of the vehicle was going to be a little under, little under $6,800 start to finish. It's not hard to build one. Uh, so it, it's. But we took the. Uh, there is down in Australia for my Australia thing. Australia's got a company called Hummingbird Motors that builds a, the motor that I would like to use in the big rig design. It's a really super efficient motor with the magnets that they use. And uh, they, they, they make a pure oxygen-free copper winding, which is one of the dirty little secrets that's hard to get today. The quality of, mo of, of copper is crap because it all comes out of China now. Uh, to find oxygen-free copper is almost impossible, and it makes a big difference. The uh, But we really think we could have... Uh, we could have started with the hybrid project for the big rigs. I don't need a 600 horsepower diesel. I need a diesel big enough to, to turn at a constant ongoing rate a, an electric motor that generates enough amps to roll the wheels. And since we're rolling wheels in that design, this axle design that I have, not only do you put it under the truck, but you also put it under the trailer. And the reason you do that is, is it really helps on hills. It's going to really help on ice. And with a wider tire setup than what we normally have, we could lower the profile of the trailer and stop the flipovers during the high wind days. Uh, there was a lot of problems we were solving with this design. And uh, because I am the gun muse, I cannot go out and submit to a fund me project man google shuts me down in a heartbeat you want to see those organizations turn around and say that idea has no merit we won't even let you tell people about it that's one of them the other one they shut down was my uh my dynamic search engine that learned as you as you talk to it uh it was already up and operating they wouldn't let me put a gofundme out for it 
exactly what the big motor is is a monster flywheel uh the but it's an electric version of a flywheel literally the hummingbird motor that we were looking at uh from from australia at the size we were looking at it was about the size of the cab uh it was big the uh but you got to go back in time and look at where the development and engineering came from you know when we talk about hybrids what was the first hybrid in production use well that would be the submarine in world war ii the uh two thousand gallons of diesel is all they carried yeah any place that you would have a constant loop route for the time being we would have to the hybrid idea would work for those the eventually switching to the pure electric idea because they make these 50 kev batteries that you can charge in 30 minutes so i could put a bank of those in a truck and literally you're required by law to stop every eight hours if i can make the truck go eight hours so when they pull in a truck stop all they're doing is charging their batteries up and then we know that's a mandated downtime at that point anyway it becomes a freaking uh a win-win but the loser becomes the government for all the crap you hear about the epa getting on this getting on that the epa makes regulations to make sure vehicles get worse fuel mileage or that they don't start using computers to increase their fuel mileage too quickly because more mileage is less tax dollars you've got to remember who's holding the conversation and the weasley little guy that's got a degree as a lawyer is not the guy that needs to be telling you how to engineer stuff but yet he's the one doing it what he's engineering is tax dollars that he's going to give to his buddy so you got to pay attention to the politics sides of this stuff yeah i wish I could get, man, from start to finish on the first prototype, it'd be a million and a half bucks. Uh, and and that would be taking an old rig that's worn out, stripping it down to the frame and just starting over with, with an electric deal. Uh, but budgetary-wise, about a million and a half dollars. And that's because all the big stuff is easy. The little stuff requires modern engineers, like controls. Controls are the difficult portion. Absolute epic failure there, Eric. I looked at the I looked at the model. The uh, recovery of of energy from the rear wheels or from the deceleration or from the downhill 100 percent wishful thinking does not mathematically bear out the uh the long-term fix to the problem that you have with the democrats pushing trains and electric trains one you're gonna have to build vacuum tubes two you're gonna have to freaking build uh superconductors right now the longest and the longest piece of superconductor in the world is 18 inches long. And when you can get superconductive material that is 20,000, 30,000 feet long, then you got something. At that point, what you're going to be able to do energy-wise is going to be phenomenal. Yeah, I, I, uh, Tesla has in one of their showrooms, they got this where they got the electric wheels and the, uh, the bottom half of the car and none of the rest of the car did, so they could show it off. I tried to buy one of those. <laughs> they won't let you go anywhere near that thing. Uh, because I just wanted, it was a good starting point for another project that I was, I was going to build a race car out of the damn thing. Uh, right now, the fastest, uh, 16th of a mile race car is an electric car, but then he loses all control after a 16th of a mile. Uh, he can't run eighth mile and he can't run quarter miles. Uh, the, 
There's no such thing as supercapacitors. That's that's another myth. Uh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. And they're reading the positive energy they're getting from the train coming to a stop. But when you start deducting what you lost, it doesn't the math doesn't hold up. Man, I'll tell you, the push to get to Mars is disturbing me. And it's like in the last couple of weeks, the more I I watch the, uh, there's a series on Netflix where they, it must be financed by Elon Musk because it basically they keep cutting to him like he's the guy that's going to get us to Mars. And uh, reusable rockets are the way to go because it lowers costs. Like I said, Elon Musk figured out how to make Republicans and Democrats happy. Kickback contractors lower cost of getting things done <coughs> but if we're going to put a colony on Mars for research then it makes sense to me that the first sustainable colony inside of a bubble needs to be on the moon that's a four day rescue to go to the moon and rescue somebody it takes a year to go rescue somebody on Mars the uh so no one's talking about putting a colony on frickin' the moon so that we could be testing what we don't know and how it's going to screw us uh, on Mars. Liquid fluoride thorium reactors. That would be the water engines that you're talking about, right? The uh, uh, that's where electrologists through the metal wire burning converts to hydrogen. The moon is all it might be. Uh, it doesn't matter. The point would be prove to us that you're not going to kill somebody so that you can say. I don't doubt that the, 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 the Mars is more viable because of water. That, But the reality is the moon has a light side and a dark side and you can solar station the moon and prove out a whole lot of concepts that are really close to Earth. And the moon might be a good place to launch other crap from. Think about this. The moon should be, with today's robotics, we should have robotic miners building materials that are built in a low atmosphere environment and literally constructing platforms for us to launch from the moon without people there. Because the moon is actually so close, you can the relay communications becomes easy. There's a <clears throat> we're still operating under a 1960 treaty where we don't want to put weapons on the moon. They they want to call everything a weapon. The solar plant in California, out in Bakersfield, runs on that liquid salt. Is that is that the concept you're talking about? They use solar to heat it, but it's liquid salt that runs the reactor for creating electricity. Thanks, ma'am. The uh, I the moon would be 
the ultimate proof out. I'll tell you one of the reasons I think they're skipping over the moon is Elon Musk is promising this tourist industry thing. What a wonderful way to find out what kind of a failure that is because the moon is a viable tourist tourist option. I'll, I'll have to read up on it later. The uh, as soon as you say the word thorium, people panic. But they like gold. For those who don't know, thorium, when it breaks down in its half life, becomes gold. When gold breaks down in its half life, it becomes lead. That's why they've always been trying to figure out how to turn lead into gold. The, uh, they think, how do we get an electron added to it? The Japanese economy can't freaking fund itself to feed itself half the time right now. Japanese, you know, in the early 90s, they had money. Man, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sitting here. I'm not doing anything in game. The oh my gosh, I lost my window. With the big white, we're gonna do that. I'll tell you what I should be doing while I got the game open. It's finishing up the stuff I promised you I was finishing. The debt thing is not as straightforward as people think it is. The U.S. is world reserve currency. When a company goes out, and this is something that's changed. It didn't used to be this way. The banking system that runs Europe and has been around for thousands of years is a secret tax on society. Uh, the U.S. Federal Reserve was not that way, and that's why it was the World Reserve Currency, or it is the World Reserve Currency. They have crept in mimicking the European-style central banking system. And so basically when, they, when a company now turns around and borrows money, then money is produced. The... Uh, out of thin freaking air, goes to the bank, the bank puts the money in the bank, and then the bank's allowed to loan at eight times the rate of what it is that's been deposited. So they made money up out of thin air, let's say a billion dollars, they put it in the bank, and now it becomes, the bank can now loan eight billion dollars when it gets done with the way that pays out. Ah. Uh, so the debt they owe us is not a direct linear thought process to how our debt works in re for private citizens. Full throttles. I... Guys, I do so much work for so many big companies. Uh, Coca-Cola gave me this machine. I didn't buy it. Uh, they only built 30 at the time, this monster machine. And this is the one, this one, I don't know if I got turned off. I don't even know if you could hear it. You couldn't hear it probably. But it howls when the door closes. Yeah. 
yeah, it it requires inflation. And this is one of the th reasons. You want to know what the swamp's kicking back against old Trump? Trump ain't had any inflation. Trump has figured out how to create jobs, increase salaries, and keep inflation at the check at the same time. And that is, according to every economist, not possible, yet it's happened. And I know how he did it. Obama was cheating the unemployment stats. He was making people just disappear from the market. And Trump didn't fix the broken Obama math. He left it in place so that as people come from the they don't exist on the planet anymore, Obama stats, to suddenly having a job, money suddenly appears in the economy that is not possible to appear. It's not true. And if you want to get right down to it, it's Trump lying. But it's Trump using Obama's lie so that the because the news is not smart enough to know how he's pulling it off. And it's how he's keeping inflation under control and getting wages to go up. <coughs> the Carter administration. Yeah, exactly. The stagflation. The stagflation that occurred under Carter. You know, right now you can buy a home at 3% mortgage interest rate. For those who aren't that old, Jimmy Carter, which is what Barack Obama copied his administration off of, it was 19% interest to borrow a home loan, 27% interest to go get a car loan. The uh, It was called stagflation. It was so bad that the government had to create a new word called the misery index to measure how miserable people were with their government. Well, that's where the slippery slope doors got opened up. The sale of a barrel, a barrel of oil comes out of the ground. It's got a value. Okay, so the market says it's worth $100 a barrel. It's not right now. I think it's like 56 bucks a barrel. Uh, okay, so the whole world knows what a barrel of oil is worth, and they agree to what a barrel of oil is worth unless they're cheating little slime bag countries. The, uh, like Iran, will the rest of the world's paying $60 a barrel. France, Germany, and Russia is buying oil from, from, from Iran at $20 a barrel because Iran's not allowed to have any money, so they're cheating, and bunches of people are getting rich in the middle. How do we know it's our French, the, the French, Germans, and freaking Russians? Every time we've gone into one of these little countries, it's been French planes, German freaking guns, and Russian tanks. Uh, that they're trading for oil at a rate of $20 a barrel. So that's where these countries have been getting their weapons to cause their little conflicts from. And it's just oil out of the ground. The uh, That's why, man, they... under In the 90s, when the UN actually monitored oil transactions illegally, it wasn't... It wasn't until we went into Iraq in 2001 and George Bush shut down the illegal oil transfers of weapons for oil from these three countries that are our allies that we got some semblance of control over the market to stabilize it. You got to remember that we went up to like $150, $160 a barrel for oil for a long time, all on panic. And now that's not possible. The U.S. is now a net exporter of oil, they're still using the, uh, the U.S. uses 25% of the world's energy. That's a number from 1972. Guess what, guys? Whole crap load of nations have, have become first world countries since then. Uh, we're not even in the 4.5% of the world's energy use right now. So us becoming a net exporter of oil is a good thing. But when we came into technology, they did things like Canada turned around and said digital technology had no value. All right? So you couldn't be taxed on it. And uh, book two.
Man, all that work I did the other day seems to be gone. I'll have to do a file recovery. Oh, you're not even seeing. Oh, holy crap. No wonder. Look here. Like that. Well, you can't see. I'm, I got it out here. Luckily, I have it open. Uh, file. Save. Okay. Yeah, so Canada, when things like search engines came around, we called my search engine a counterfeiting machine. It literally just produced money for ones and zeros. And the phrase being talked or tossed around in the late 90s was called service-based economies. And then guys like me would say, look, you cannot use that phrase service-based economy because you cannot add dollar value to service and not expect a country like China to turn around and take your service because they're running a slave nation. The, you know, if you start attaching dollar value to production produced based on an hours of wage, then you get, you're going to wind up with a currency manipulator because of labor basing. And that's what you got out of China. Uh, so that's what we were, we were talking about way back when was that. Thank you, Aqua. So when you pull gold from the ground, you pull silver from down, that's a known value. That's based on market need. That produces something. And so let's say they pull gold out of the ground, and they pull $20 million worth of gold out of the ground in one day. The government should print $20 million worth of, of money because a product has been invented. Well, they, they started doing this where they made borrowing money the same as producing a product. And that's where we are today. So when, when, the, when the Nancy Pelosi goes out there and says, people on unemployment is the greatest boom to the economy that we have, quote unquote, folks, she said it. The reason she said it was what I just said. The government has to borrow money to pay the unemployment and then when they deposit it in the bank, the bank gets to produce 800% more dollars than what they, the government borrowed. So they're producing 800% more. And that's what creates the inflation. And the Federal Reserve uh, operates off the inflation number, just like what's his name was saying there. Uh, I didn't see Trump say that. It's Trump loves pissing the media off at this point. And why not? They've been attacking him for, for four years now. They This thing where the, the it's an impeachment, but it's not an impeachment. The uh I can tell you why they're not sending that over oh, the, the Republicans are so biased that we can't send that over there. No, the minute you send that over there and it becomes a matter of evidence. You know what the next charge is? Nancy Pelosi is going to get charged with a misappropriation of funds. They used government funds to create a marketing campaign to get people elected. We know why Nancy dragged out the uh, uh, impeachment the way she did and then had to get it done. She stopped all the people she wanted to be in Congress from being primaried because she was acting so wackadoodle that the wackadoodles weren't going to win against the people that were going to vote with the wackadoodle thinking. That is stealing and the U.S. and the U.S. taxpayer just paid for the Democrats to hold their primary positions, not even their elected offices. And no one's talking about it, but we know what they did. It's not hard to figure out. We know why they did it. It's, uh, it was very, Nancy Pelosi is being pushed really hard by those wackadoodles on the left.
Man, I'll tell you right now, you, you want to see some depressed people? The highlight of the loony left in the United States was two days ago when they voted impeachment. It's all downhill for the rest of the year from now. It's just absolutely. We know that somewhere around June, July, maybe a little earlier, there's going to be a great big stock market dip. I'm already planning to make money on it. How do we know that? It's because they do the same things all the time. Uh, they're going to try and say, oh, look, we told you that economy couldn't last forever, blah, blah, blah. And I'm telling you, it's going to happen six months before it happens. Uh, George Soros is going to do everything he can. They ran two test runs this last year. And uh, so we know they're going to try. And it depends on Trump. I don't know. Brexit. The Brexit vote for Britain, there were four things that needed to happen for the worldwide slide to slavery to go away. The Brexit vote. Uh, Trump, the, the, the economy going up like it did in the United States because it's dragging everybody with them. The uh, Trump enduring all the crap that gets thrown at him. I mean, they're up to what? What did they start with? Uh, first, it was the uh, – they tried to knock him out of the race with all the insider stuff. Of what You said this. You know, if, if you see him being taken out of context now, I guarantee you not one person listening now has heard the entire interview where he said, grab him by the pussy. The, uh, the, because the context of the thing was, you mean people are so enamored they would let you do that kind of stuff? He says, yeah, you can do it all the time. He didn't say he did it. He said that there were people that were so much in love with famous people and billionaires that they would let you do it. It's been taken out of context. But everybody believes what they, they the first thing they hear is the truth. The uh, And that kind of crap's been going on for three years now, four years now. The uh, It's like a, what was it? A, can you do me a favor? He didn't say that. We got a transcript for what the call was. Said, can you do us a favor? It seems that this Burisma problem over here is corrupt. The uh, can we can we look into that? If you don't know what the Burisma oil problem is, we take tax dollars, give it to Ukraine. Ukraine gave those tax dollars to the Burisma oil company. The Burisma oil company went and bought coffee cups from the Democrats' websites. That's why the Democrats don't want anybody investigating Burisma. <coughs> it's a money laundering operation. The uh, the. It's one thing to like the politics of the Democratic platform. It's another to endorse the lies and then not, still not get your politics. You're not getting what you want, and you're endorsing lies in the process. I don't know what the thinking is. I'm not getting anything typed. Man, is there a translator when freaking oh. Surely he's not listening to me in English and then talking to me in Russian. Man, that Tommy, that's the thing we used to say. He's like, well, politicians are just corrupt. Well, at the point that they realized no one was going to stop them from being corrupt, it's gotten into epic corruption. Speaking of political calls, the, uh, yeah, this has gotten... Don't do that. Do, 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 do. They, uh, I'll push it. I'm actually on the uh, Insider platform for that now, too. Yeah. 
I I actually try to use the translator when op uploading the videos. That's why I get it at International Market. What's going on there? Something going on there. The audio has more than two channels, but only one mono or two stereo channels are. The audio has more than two channels, but only one mono or two stereo channels are supported. Please correct the number of audio channels. I don't know that I have two audio channels. Has the audio started sounding weird? Warren, that's your Dutch, right? Man, I just got taken over by by the Eastern blocks. <laughs> I don't have a translator, guys. It's I, I I recognize a word here and there. The uh, that's about it. He's a tyrant. And I. I, I poured this out in a conversation the other day. I, I refuse to be ruled. You want me to trade one king 3,000 miles away for 3,000 rulers 100 miles away. And that is literally what the Democratic Party wants to do right now. They want whatever they say to be the law. And I, I got news for the freaking Obama crew. It took what is it now, 10 years, 9 years, the first judge ruled on whether it's legal to force somebody to buy a product. And this is going to have ripples in a whole bunch of ways because it ain't just health care they make you buy. Uh, so this is going back to the Supreme Court under a different argument because a, a, a district court just struck it down. <coughs> But you can't force people to buy somebody's product. And where our conservative judge turned around and said, hey, no, no, health care is a tax. Well, the company I wrote the check to isn't the government. The company I wrote the check to is a third-party company. You made me buy a product from them. If the company can't tax me, you can't call it a tax. And people need to understand that. That was... The most corrupt, the reason they got so much money pumped into the Democratic Party by insurance companies was they promised we're going to funnel all these price increases right at you, the insurance companies. While they're bad mouthing them on the news, they were pumping money at them. The average cost went up $2,800, $2,900 per home the first year. Where'd the money go? They didn't have new doctors. They didn't make new hospitals. In fact, they shut some down. They got rid of doctors. They got rid of hospitals. People went out of business. Where did all the extra money go? The uh, didn't go into health care. And for those who think I'm, you know, I'm crazy on this thing, it's called the Affordable Health Care Act. And if you want to go read it or just pull up the PDF and search it, the only place that the word health care is in that is in the title. But the word tax is in there 5,800 times. It's the American Tax Act. During the Affordable Health Care Act, anytime I pay somebody more than $600, I'm required to report to the government that I did so. I bet you didn't know that was a health care law. So every time, every year, this is one of the reasons I'm so glad I'm out of business. The uh, Almost everybody does more than $600 a transaction with me. 
So, and it's per year. So every company that walked in and bought something in my store had to send me a tax bill so that the government knew exactly how much money walked through my door. They had the customers auditing our income. Which didn't stop people from doing cash transactions. But yeah, I don't do cash transactions. I, I get customers who ask me all the time. It's like, could I pay a little less if I paid you in cash? It's like, nope. If I have to cheat to eat, me and my government are going to have a conversation that neither of us are going to enjoy. But if I've got to cheat my income just to put food on my table, we're not in a good place. Something's going to need to be corrected immediately. I have a lot. I, food is food, shelter, clothing, three basics in life. You interrupt that with your bullshit, we're going to have a, we're going to have a conversation that's going to be very brutal. This is how civil wars start, guys. You cannot debate a liar. They're liars. Anything they say has no value. So at the end of the day, if people are following them, you started, you're going to start a civil war because they're too stupid to know they're being lied to. They're too ingrained in what they want to provide morals to the situation. You'll see that in this game, I promise you. Man, people will say anything. Watch what they do. Actions is what matters. Hugh, in the early 80s, when what you saw on the three news channels that existed were Russians standing in lines three blocks long to get a loaf of bread for free. The, uh, the Russian bread lines. No one talks about how well communism and socialism did for them. And the joke that everybody made, including the comedians, you can go watch comedians from back then if you can find them on YouTube probably, uh, the, uh, was you needed your papers on you at all times in order to not be considered a criminal in communist Russia. And as you just stated, right now I've got to have my driver's license, my social security card, my freaking proof of insurance, the, uh, and for my other stuff i got my handicap placards, uh, my proof of handicap placards, and then i got two cards in my wallet Prove my immobility to ID cards from the state of New Mexico. That is all to travel. So the joke that we used to make about the communist Russians, we now apply to everyday citizens. So when the Democrats are out there going, how dare you? We're calling them undocumented workers. Well, we used to be undocumented citizens. But we're not no more because the Democrats got their way. So I don't want to call them undocumented workers. They're, they're illegals. They came here illegal. They just want to be here. The uh, I found out the other day, I was, man, I was at the VA, and uh, one of the guys goes, well, I don't have my proof of birth certificate, uh, but he was in the military, right? And that, and the government, all you have to do is find two people <clears throat> to sign an affidavit verifying that you were born, and the government will issue a document saying that you were that that issues you a birth certificate based on whatever day you say and place you say. This is a, I kid you not. All you have to have is two liars, and you got the and, and now somebody's an American citizen. Yeah. I'm not opposed to the real ID card. Uh, the if we're gonna have IDs. Then yes, 
The state of New Mexico fought the real ID. I'll tell you why. We're the number we're the number one portal for illegals. We are not just handing driver's licenses out, trying to make them citizens, but when you come across the border illegally, the state of New Mexico right now is handing them a thousand dollars on the day they show up. That's just from the state. The uh, meanwhile, we can't get the road built out. We can't get the potholes in the road fixed. Uh, we we handed the movie industry uh, four hundred million dollars last year to make movies in the state of New Mexico. Well, if you need a desert scene, there ain't mother, many other places in the United States you can go. The uh, you know how much money the movie industry made the state of New Mexico? Less than thirty three point eight million dollars. So they took four hundred million and they got three point. They gave us back three point eight. The uh, in what we call tourist dollars. Uh, what they did was they took money from the oil and gas industry and they gave it to Hollywood. I just told our senator was it three days ago. I said demand that they write a thank you at the end of the movie. We would like to thank the oil and gas industry for the money contributed to this film. He's got, he put it up for suggestion. He got shot down before he even got out of committee. We, we can't even ask for a thank you while they're stealing our money. How dare you want to be thanked for the money that they, we had, the people that are our friends force you give us. Yeah. Well, I can tell you, I got to carry three, four. I got my VA ID, my freaking driver's license, and uh, the two state handicapped IDs, plus the placard that's got to go in the car. Uh, and, of course, my insurance. Now, I beat the no insurance. We, we changed our laws here that... Uh, the insurance company is required to provide to the state if you cancel your insurance because we had so many illegals that were just going home and printing out a fake insurance uh, piece of paper. So what they did was they attached it to your license plate. So when the cop pulls you over, he knows whether or not you got insurance because the insurance company is the one saying that license plate has insurance on it. It's reported to the state government now. You don't have any privacy or what transaction you did with a private company anymore, the state demanded to know what money you gave to somebody else. So I got pulled over, and I didn't have my insurance card uh, with me. I didn't even have my damn phone, one printed on my phone, and I got a no-insurance ticket. It's like 430 bucks for that no-insurance ticket. I went to court with it. I said, wait a minute. You can't ask me on the side of the road to prove that my company I paid money to is following the law. They're the ones required to report whether or not I have insurance. You had a police officer on the side of the road ask me, did my company report it properly? That's illegal. I'm not an investigator. The uh, I won that lawsuit. It cost me $430 in court fees to not have to pay my $430 fine to win that lawsuit. The, uh, the, what's worse is they issued a statement after I won that lawsuit not to tell the police officers not to issue the no insurance tickets anymore, but to tell the clerks at the courthouse that if somebody comes in with one of those tickets, they need to schedule a court date to see the judge, and then the judge will dismiss it. Well, that means a guy coming in there trying to just take care of it real quick is being told he's going to need to take a day off from work to come in there and see a judge. And he doesn't, he's not being told that he wasn't guilty of anything and it's going to be dismissed. So what do they do? They just pay the clerk, they, they plead guilty at the clerk and they pay the fine. So they, they are, they know they're not supposed to be writing the tickets. They're writing the tickets anyway. And they know they're not supposed to be collecting money for a guilty fee, but they're doing it anyway. And the citizen who hasn't been told that it's been overturned constitutionally is the one still paying the price. <coughs> yeah. The, they don't like me down at the courthouse. 
I have a tendency to read. Since I'm not actually using that today. But you got to understand the Democratic Party does not believe in state rights, you. Want to know the most famous incitation? How dare Arizona say we're going to arrest people who are here, they're breaking the law. The uh, If you turn around and you task the state to take care of immigration just so that you don't have to do it, you can't get upset when they do it. And here's dirty little secrets that didn't get out. First of all, the, the rancher that got killed down in Douglas, Arizona, lifelong friend of mine. And we used to live in Douglas when I was a kid. My gran when the legals would come across the border and they come on the land, you know, my grandmother would fret. And what she would fret about is uh, whether or not she had enough food to feed them while while they while they were there, because she was going to go in and call immigrate and call the border patrol to come pick them up, but she wanted to make them a meal while they were there. The uh, the and here in New Mexico, and it's, manda it's, it's mandatory here in New Mexico and Arizona now to have kidnapping insurance on my homeowner's policy. I have a $50,000 insurance you know, where my homeowner's policy will pay the, the people who kidnap me fifty grand. Texas has the most unique set of laws ever because Texas was a country that got a unique deal when it absorbed into the United States. You cannot judge other states by Texas. Texas has the right to succeed. I'm in New Mexico right now, and if Texas succeeds, the place, I'm, the place I own right here becomes Texas. I have lots of friends that, that escaped uh, uh, Lebanon. They were in New York, and New York got so bad that they swore to God it was worse than Lebanon. And then they went down to Texas, and they, they swear to God, Texas is the last bastion of freedom on the planet. The, uh, but it's getting bad, too. The... Uh, Boots. Boots and ring first. The last piece of SK gear that you get rid of is the chest piece. Sitting here rubbing my hand. My hands hurt so bad. That's probably again. You also all sleep. Sit here. Like, wow, is he rubbing his crotch? No, freaking rubbing the muscles on my thighs because I get freaking, I got to keep moving a little bit. And you can always redo it. I think the boots had the uh, a large troop defense number on it. That was why we picked that. Take it easy, Box Fox. I'll tell you, once you get your master gear, just go ahead, and if you're wanting to spend a little money, and, and this is relevant to whether they change here or later, go ahead and uh, 
Get it all to five. Don't even worry about that buck gear. Go ahead and build the buck gear as it comes, but don't dismantle your master gear. Take it to five and transform it. Right. You dropped artillery stats for troop defense, which was a great trade. Well, it's it's a hundred dollars for that transformation stuff. It's highly overlooked. I overlooked it for a while, and I haven't decided if I'm going to go and reverse course. Hold on here. I gotta show you what I'm doing. If I was going to reverse course and fix myself. Ah, broke again. I'll tell you, if GOG would put this on a Microsoft Windows platform, people would go out and buy uh, all-in-one touch screens all day long just for playing Android-type games. The, uh, so armory. So if I transform this gear, right? How much does that cost? So that takes. That says I can't even do that. I can't even buy it. Advanced smelting stuff. So the smelting back. Go. There's 90 of those. So I could do three pieces of gear for a hundred bucks. All right. And that's going to add 80 to my troop attack. 80. So, I mean, honestly, that's a really good deal. I probably will pull the trigger very shortly. And I may go back down. I'll, I'll figure out one of these things. And it'd probably be the boots. I'll bring the boots back down and do a third one of those and transform it. So if I buy one of those packs, I can do transform times three. I'd get a big bump in stats if I did that. That's a hundred dollars for some large stats. That's a good deal. I may I may go back down on all of them and just transform them because getting to plus three. Is freaking hard and exp okay. So, what do I need to get plus three now? Plus three, and this transformed is about the same thing. So, if I go enhance, I need 40 more of those. So, 40 bucks per piece to get to th plus three, plus all the other stuff that I need. Remember, I still need. I would only be able to do two of those before I'm starting to buy steel and I'm buying freaking, you know, this stuff I'm making, the crimson gold I'm making. Yeah. But, so the plus three master beats the plus two buccaneer. And it's cheaper to obtain. So if you're coining, you got a coin to do that. That's where I would go. I don't know. If I go in here and quit transform. Transformation may change equipment stats. Well, hell, then maybe what I ought to do is play with the one that I don't want first, right? Maybe it'll take the artillery off the chest piece. Yeah. 
Mais euh... looking at some stats here. Well, my internet is just not too bueno today. And go to studio. Chris Thompson, are you in the chat, man? Lucas, what was you? That was the other live chat. Got some dancing going on. I got people that are joining. I got people that are leaving. Oh, yeah. Let me go to... Give me the different sheet. Man, I tell you, if you guys ever want to get get into this where you want to get big, this is all about the freaking numbers, man. You're going to have to be good at math. telling me here see I can compare my reach number mm -hmm. here's yesterday's reach number 20,000 people saw me yesterday But only 2,400 are verified views. But even on the verified views, I'm up 744 people over last month. And I still have ten I still have a third of the month left. So we we got a thirty percent gain. The bad thing is Marshall One X, man, thank you very, very much. Yeah. Man, I'll tell you my memory issues really messes with the math. You, when you talk about memory issues, they never talk about how bad somebody that does high-end math is going to suffer from it. The, uh, the, it's it's bad. I was a nuclear machinist mate when I joined the Navy, and then they converted me to an ET. Uh. The Navy couldn't get anybody to pass the damn ET courses at the time. They were bringing on computers at that time. Things were just didn't get computerized. We were going from solid state transistors to microchips. And back then, the Navy's ET program was here's the here's the books. Come back and tell come back and tell us when you're ready to take the test. They didn't teach you squat. You it was self taught. And I get that, because when you went out to the fleet, you didn't get a school for the 2,500 pieces of equipment you're working on. You got a book for each one of the pieces of equipment, and it had in-depth 
circuit control inside that. <laughs> That's the way to go, too. The, uh, like, what the hell? Man, stats on the cheap are about planning ahead. That's all there is to it. Uh, know what you're going to do in two or to three events. But Fun Plus has been using my videos to try and undo what I'm teaching people. It's like, well, wait a minute. You're stealing money from us. No, you weren't entitled to the dollar. Uh, you, if somebody's going to spend $160 a month, they're going to spend $160 a month. If they got to sit down and engage a strategy to get $400 worth of stuff out of that $160, bucks, they are engaged with the game. You know you're going to get that money every month because of what I did. They, they completely misconstrue what it is I do for them. They do not have any respect for it because they don't understand it. It's not part of their philosophy in life. They've been zeroing me the first few minutes of Ike every time. I'm not hitting the heel button. The uh, Until I break 2 billion power, I refuse to hit that heel button during this event anymore. Because I mathematically figured out that's where I would need to be to stop the crap that's happening to me. Electricians made it easy. Yeah, ET's hard. A lot of ETs could shouldn't have never been ETs. The uh, I am friends with all the ETs that I had in the Navy now, but I promise you, back then we weren't that friendly. And I neither cared nor wondered why back then. And they're all we're all friendly now because as they got older. They started to realize that they were hating me because I could do something they couldn't do. That I made it look easy, and I didn't know, and, and that was a threat to what it was. You know, they wanted to be the guy that come in and save the game. They, and they'll, they'll spend three or four hours working on something. I walk up in 30 seconds just give the answer. And it was insulting, and I didn't know any better. You know, high IQ, low EQ. I've worked on my EQ over the last 40 years. Yeah, I will, uh, let's look at that. See, all this stuff that's in the great rewards, these blue ones shouldn't be up there. There's nothing great about those blue ones. They should be down in the advanced reward area. First, you get a random chance to get a great reward. Then you get a random chance from all this crap. So it's a very low drop rate. And dropping stuff like Flawless dark stones. Well, if you don't have dark dark stones for five bucks, again, that's not that's not in the great reward category. Uh, and because of the way they made the upgrades, these aren't worth squat either. What does that break down to? Eight thousand freaking deal because of the way they did their their upgrade release. Are you talking about to burn them out there, Royal? No, you don't. You, you can hit them 30 times in 30 minutes 
or 30 times in 30 seconds, and they're going to burn 30 minutes for each hit that you put on them. So you can, you can hit them and forget them. Yeah, all those things are is food. I get tons of these blue drops when I buy those chests. So I'm, I'm, but I've gotten one of the precious iron sky. Uh, and then I get crap loads of this damn Sun King gear. None of which is useful to me, because I can't even I can't even make use of it in dismantling, because it's. I, so there's a suggestion for them, right? You, on these advanced rewards, take the Sun King gear out and just make it one Ether Crystal. Just one. I'd be happier than the crap I got from the damn Sun King gear. The, uh, you know, I'd be happier with five, but 15, 50. But you don't even put those rewards in here, so the loot's not good. You have to spend money to get this stuff, except for ones or twos. So they put the guards So one of the things you're going to have to do is know that you're building a defensive formation for the tower. So there you're going to change the guard out. Man, and I I don't think the fun plus guys listen this long. The uh but Yeah. Yeah, I would I would say the same thing. The well, the greens when they first came out, I wrote that video. It was like a hundred dollars just to buy the greens. I didn't really notice. But I did notice the comments asking about them, and I haven't had time to go chase them. I, during this time of year, player activity drops to the floor. So I made lots of plans for December and January for me to get other stuff upgraded and ready to go so that I can hit next year a little harder than I hit this year. You know, we want to we want to use this year as a springboard. The... Uh, I would love to figure out how to get to 100,000 subscribers. That's the next goal. I, I mean, I'm not even at 10,000. 10,000 should be my next goal, but I would like to get a breakout 100,000 subscribers out, out of freaking thin air somewhere. But there doesn't seem to... I can't figure out how Guns of Glory got 100,000 subscribers unless they bought fake ones. The uh, Because... The mar I see the market traffic from the search. The volume there is not there for what they for the results that they achieved. Something's bogus there. I don't know if they hired some outside company to go out and up their subscriber number way back when, which is what I I, I think happened. Because uh, when we were talking to investors on, I've got a couple investors and game developers who have been talking about me jumping in and helping them with a developer project. The uh, 
they don't even concept business, and that's the problem I have with a lot of this stuff, is 20% of your budget is generally marketing. They, uh, and they go, what, 20%? That's just the nature of business. Uh, and then I literally had investors going, well, we already have guys we use. We already have this. We already have that. I'm like, you're here to invest in a different idea, not endorse the same idea. And then I looked at what they their pre-built package was, and they went over to Bob's big warehouse of of, uh, of fake Facebook likes and fake uh, YouTube subscribers, and they were uh, using those to get these bogus numbers that they didn't understand that the bogus. Oh yeah, there's 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 got to be close to half a million active players. I would I would estimate the pool at about a half a million actives. The uh, I I run, you know, more than a half a million people a month through the website. I can tell you how many people are active just based on based on how many ca times you open a calculator a month. I judge traffic off of unique viewers. I don't I don't go I don't go off hits. Uh, so I only count you one time for the thirty days. The uh, I don't I don't care that you come in there fifteen times in a day. That's 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 a bogus stat that they like to show people who write checks and money. No, it's way more than that. Uh, the uh, I've got ten thousand subscribers on on Rogers Raiders. Uh, those are all that, those aren't farms, and you're not required to subscribe. the The conversion rate of traffic to active subscribers is about one percent. Okay, so to get ten thousand subscribers, I've had a hundred thousand people who regularly go to the website. All right, so I, I know there's at least a hundred thousand, and then on top of that, the conversion to active people in the forums is going to be one percent of the number of subscribers. So I've got about a hundred active people in the forums out of a hundred thousand active GOG players. And those are outstanding numbers. I've been doing this a long time. It was, it was the, if I broke a half a percent, I was on the better than everybody else platform. Boots and ring there, Ellie. Yeah, so it's the it's what the fuck am I looking at? Sorry, uh, Trump train choo choo. Oh, still the POTUS. <laughs> that guy is sitting in front of his news TV right now, just pissed off to all I get out. Uh, he has been for three days. I talked to him on the phone. The uh. He has to sit. Well, he's he's sitting in his mom's hospital room, and you know while she goes out for tests, he turns on the news and just drives him freaking nuts. The uh, I'm telling you, they're lucky I'm not the POTUS right now pulling that crap with me, because I'd have filed criminal charges against Nancy Pelosi. That is a misappropriation of funds to run the fundraiser and to solidify your candidates not being primary by leftist loonies using Congress the uh, and not caring who you trash, who you lied about, how you lied about it. The uh, Every one of those people that testified in front of Congress and said, well, the president told me not to do it, but he's wrong and, and, and you, need to, you need to impeach him because he's wrong. I'm like, so you make foreign policy? <laughs> the, uh, <coughs> I told the president of the Ukraine not to listen to President Trump. You're under oath, right? Holy crap. Do you know that's a crime to do that? The president sets foreign policy. It doesn't matter if you agree with it. You don't even get a debatable say in it. It's called separation of powers. That's what co-equal branches mean, you sorry SOBs. You just got, oh, uh, what kingdom are you in there, Marshal?
Yeah, I, I noted that earlier in the video uh, that the master ingots looks like uh, what uh, six weeks you get a piece of master gear for free. We're coming around. There's probably gonna be you know it, I I don't know what's next. We did the, they did the guards, uh, did the airship. I think the conversation we had earlier about on, on making use of mercenary ships, I really think that my, my plan there, starting at 30, you got one more. The, uh, and then every five, you know, and then every five levels, you got another one until you got the C45, then you had all five of them. Uh, the, uh, I really, really, because that would give people a bump in RSS gathering as well, because it would be permanent like that. Yeah, I think I think that would be something I would throw the money away. And then you could leave the buy them anytime you want to in there. Those people that are buying them are still going to buy them until they get to C45s just because they don't want that one dead dead march. And then, uh, yeah, I think that that's a good transition into team play. You guys missed that stuff. Got to go back to the beginning. I know these things get epically long. That's because you, you guys keep prompting me. And honestly, it seems like the audience for this stuff is people that just want to listen in the car on the drive home. So, it is what it is. The uh, four thirty one. All right, give me one second here. I can probably hear me chewing. All right. We didn't even have a big, great big drop off in it. <clears throat> the level of those mines will go up depending on the average castle level. up from Scotland, man. I do need to get some work done. Oh. I like work and talk at the same time. At least I think I can. Let's 
Do, 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 do. And I wonder, I'm looking for something specific. That's what I'm looking for. Ah, that's not what I'm looking for. You try that. Uh, save picture as. Pictures. New folder. Save. And then we can open up this. I got to make a little movie magic for That would be a good idea. I never made it public. But I gave them all kinds of stuff. But frankly, if it doesn't get made public, they don't respond. They only respond because you guys respond. That's the only time. Me sending them a private video so that we could avoid public conflict, because that's not what I'm looking for, falls on deaf ears like you would not believe. You'd never know that three weeks ago I didn't know a damn thing about this program.
So there's my little gum use logo, right? this piece and we're going to lock this piece this piece hold it down cut Got some of this gooped up a little bit here. What am I doing? I'm going to have a little World of Warcraft freaking bird come flying by and then disappear off the screen. Do a little herky-jerky right now. I have to play with time and compression and shit like that. We'll figure it out. Update your uh, game there, Sonny. The, uh, I haven't been getting those secondary drops. So, go. there's been patches on top of the patches. Today's patch release is 4.7.3. I'm 51. That's gray. <laughs> I'm ready to do Schwarzenegger movies now.
Not hard. The editing takes longer than the live shoots, of course. Last month, I just shot everything in one big shot and uploaded it. I'm not going to let that comment go out there, James. You get me in trouble. The truth of the matter is, I'm older than the industry norm for what we do. Uh, and it's been that way since the late 80s. You got to realize I am in depth in computer and computer engineering and fiber optic interfaces and all that stuff. And when I quit doing that stuff, the United States only had 50, a computer in 15% of the homes. That's how far back into the days of there was no schools. You either knew how to do it or you didn't. Yeah, I don't know what's up with the, I'm telling you that it, it stopped doing it for me. I think there's there's always going to be a random chance to get a little bit, which is fine. They need to fix the Hero Store co coin cost. The, it really is a participation problem with people past C30 not being able to participate in Bounty, which is Enter Kingdom. It's part of the game. I don't want that part of the game to go away. Uh, and maybe for fear that I'd, I'd be afraid of what they tried to replace it with. Update your game. They fixed that. Oh. You're talking about guard weapons versus guard guards themselves. They consolidated the information. We, sh we showed that on film earlier. Cobra Venom, man. I need some big, wild, cheery sound. Freaking, see what I got here. Can you guys hear that? Because if I turn this on, I'm going to get a feedback that's going to make it. Yeah, that's terrible. I can't be. Now. That's a feedback loop you're hearing. That wasn't actually the sound. I've got sounds. I need to put some I need to put some sounds on the about to make one. See I've got like a I know they don't have a need to advertise the word blood event at all because they named it blood event and it's a violation of freaking uh, YouTube rules. 
it flags every video where we say those words the uh unless it is strictly under 18 not forbidden which this video is uh fix my menus I don't know what you're answering no to there Cobra Venom Gosh, what's going on there? I have to be uh, aware that more than about fifty percent of my of my viewers are on a phone, so we truncate stuff for the phone users because that market's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. <coughs> It just broke 50% of the market about a year and a half ago. Uh, so T11 troops. I hate putting a lot of words in there. Because if I don't put the words in there, you guys don't get it. And I actually need to go back and rework the spine breaker. Uh, I can optimize a little bit better for T9s than what I had originally out there. That was my first calculator that we got all this stuff up in here. Uh, the tower toppers for everybody. The wolf, the musket, the musketeer forts for everybody. Uh, it shouldn't be for everybody. I should have a musketeer fort for the different tiers, but I hadn't gotten to that yet. We, uh, because I know T11s were a massive difference. Yeah, I'm seeing it. I'm, I'm having internet download problems too. These things are taking forever to open and close. All right, so calculators. Now I took a little traffic hit just because I did this change up here in the corner. I took like a 30% traffic hit for doing that. There are consequences to updating. Uh, that's why you get a lot of places that don't update they can't afford to lose the money that they lose by trying to stay current. So, uh, Uh, stream health. Man, I'm telling you right now. You guys are talking about problems. It's telling me, oh, hey, it went from excellent. So if you're going to show them, we're going to make it poor. Uh, it was excellent. But I've been poor. I was poor all morning when everybody was saying how great it was. Okay, so the calculators now say T10, T19. T, you know, it says it on it. If it's specific. Um. Uh, if you guys want me to be to C40 quicker, you can send uh, Amazon coins to gunmuse at gmail.com and I will buy badges. I'm going to have to build a koozie into my desk. That's my next step. I'm getting so much electronics around here, I should have a no liquids allowed sign.
Man, Marshall, I wish I really knew the answer to that. But in order to test the answer to that question, whether or not to, to stack the war books in one talent or to, to spread them out, requires massive amounts of testing. Uh, the, uh, and then you have to be consistent with who you test against. So, <clears throat> what that requires is for me to go in there and gold spin, respect my war talent, <coughs> respect my war talents over and over and over and over again, reset the the mines for each respect, and then go back in there and go all the way back up and hopefully hit the exact same guy that I hit before so that I can compare the results. The uh, all I can tell you is. Try it once for you. See what happens where you just reset the spirit mines and go back in and try and kill that guy that's too big to kill. See if you get a gain out of it. The, the goal of testing is to punch up. You always want to be punching up. So be leery of that. What is story fire? I have no clue what other YouTubers do. I do not copy. I have no, I, I zero, I, none. I, I don't even know what story fire means. I'll have to look. By the time I get my T12s, T41, C41s will start existing. It's a storytelling app. Why do I need an app to tell a story? Uh, I, I've got a lot of complaints for not building a C40 calculator, but I can't imagine there's that many C40s out there. I think a lot of people bought old dead castles and they just wanted to tune them up. Tell me what YouTuber you want to see in the next episode. Oh, so this guy interviews other... So are you asking would I go and do an interview with him? That's a collaboration. Yeah, I'd do that. It's not it's not a growth audience thing for me though. You, when you do collaborations, it's smart on this guy's part. I mean, it, I get what he's doing. Does that answer your question, Thomas? Did I get the right thing right? What you were asking about? YouTube 24 with McJugger Nuggets. They have been throwing the biggest castles you've ever seen at RKVKs. And it's 
upsetting the guys who are spending $2,000 a month playing the game because I can tell that they cut back on how much they spend on the game. And anytime one of these guys sprints out of forward ahead in the money, what happens next is, is everybody else starts creeping up real quickly and catching them in stats. So your the money you spent is never worth the money you spent. Z35 should be the next event, man. I'm hoping that I'm within reach here that when they come out with the C41s, they have this C35 to C40 event that I don't need all the badges that I have stored up. The uh, If I only had to use what I got now, and by then I'll have seven or 8,000, it's enough to get every it's enough to get everything done to C40. I can then sell the rest of the hero store and finish off my airship. And finish off my guard XP. I mean there I could be running bounties every day for a month after that. Well, you can tell whenever the stream gets bad, we lose viewers big time. The, uh, I mean, it, it gets terrible. No one wants to watch the freaking viewer, viewership goes down. But man, Cobra Venom, Marshall 1X, and Wow's people, I do want to thank you guys for, for joining the channel. For those who don't know that they caught in or just lurking around in there, the join button on my channel, if your country allows that to have it available, that money goes to charity. The uh, You can choose whatever you want to spend. The uh, I choose how to spend the money. The, uh, and I do it based on need at the time. Uh, we like to have a puddle laying around that we can just take care of things quickly and not let them drag out into a drama to help somebody in need. Uh, dynamos on all the drive wheels. Man, you're like way back in time. <laughs> that was an hour and a half ago we held that conversation. And I'm telling you that the math doesn't work out. The, the, the physical restrictions overcome the recovered energy. There's no free energy in that system. Because you got to remember, even a magnetic field to, uh, is a uh, physical drain on energy. So while you're trying to create the electricity, you're actually causing a physical drain with it. But it can be an excellent braking system when properly managed. The uh, I'm telling you, I think some of the stuff because I'm uh, when I get man once I get the thing, I'll have some of my plaque and stuff up in there. Because like I'm certified with Holly to program their computers from scratch. The uh, with some of the stuff that I learned about programming the new Holly computers, Holly didn't know they could do with what the computers, with what they design. There is a whole new world of crap coming uh, in design. Are you with that channel? Or are you inviting me on there? Is that what you're doing? I mean... I'm not going to go out there and invite myself, that's for sure.
<laughs> the, uh, yeah, the, they had the matchups fixed for a long time. And I would say that the matchup math got undone. It's 11,000 badges. To go five levels, it's 11,000 badges. Actually, if you can <coughs> use the event, it's half that, 5,500. little steroids in me here I've been avoiding taking the steroids for my lungs because the steroids in my body makes the rest of my muscles spa muscle spasm and hurt <coughs> big jugger nuggets is ignoring me Just from the title, I couldn't tell you whether or not anybody should be paying attention to him at all anyway. The, uh, yeah, I appreciate it, Tommy. The, my channel's from like 2007. I get a statistical hit. Uh, because of the age of my channel, <coughs> the uh, so my lifetime browse views that they throw into the math. Well, I didn't do anything for six years, and then I went and used it because I branded the channel a long time ago. I wouldn't have been able to brand the channel today like I did back then. Uh, it takes a lot more effort to brand a channel now than it did back in 2007. Yeah, the secret to the overwhelming power during the UAC is just don't be where they are. They can only be in one spot at a time. I think there's a 30 second delay uh, from when you chat. All the chat goes through a filter to keep spammers out. It's all available, man. Just you gotta pick up and read the uh, all the stuff. <coughs> you gotta realize that I get bored. Ah. Uh, the uh, I'm now reaching my second year doing this. This is one of the reasons I started six months ago to try and get somebody to replace me in what I'm doing before I get bored with it and just say, eh, the hell with it. I quit a $300,000 a year job just to go, go to bartending school. I get bored easily. The uh, And my I don't give a damn is a pretty high factor. Some of the stuff I would like to perform pursue just cost more money than I have the uh, I made a bad decision in 2005 and even my partner then we kind of I wanted to do something I shouldn't say I made a bad decision I wanted to, my bad decision was I let my partner talk me out of what I wanted to do because uh, he talked us out of about two and a half million dollars a year the uh, because in 2005 I've got all these bullet machines sitting in here I wanted to start a bullet company and instead of doing the specialty bullets I was doing we we're going to go into mass production and we had about a hundred thousand dollars worth of investment money instead we went and bought property in Greensburg Kansas and did some property fleet flipping but that stuff it's not that we did make money it's just slow uh, it's steady 
it's not freaking boom here's 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 a couple million bucks uh, and then like on the engineering side of stuff you know uh, we do all kinds of that on the engineering yeah I can youtuber 24 with explosive is there other story fires McNuggets, McNuggets, Jugger Nuggets. People search for this, huh? So. I'll watch this later. Faking videos. All video is fake. An object being observed is not in its natural state. The, uh, right? Yeah, I can't use the word blood. It's it it's, uh, immediately flags the video as soon as it shows up in the transcript. Uh, and it it has a ripple effect too. Uh, a lot of what people do. Uh, is APIs built in the back of Google. So if Google makes a decision, it's not that Google is running the world, it's just lazy people keep using Google APIs, which makes Google run the world. It's a it's a catch-22. The uh, So like the in-game profanity filters, the, uh, so sound effects, I'm going to go look for like a two or three sounds I can mix together so that when this plays, then I'll do like I did the bird there. I'll break this video up and it'll flicker on and off. And then I'll have some sound underneath it so it sounds like, eh, 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 like it's like it's a neon light trying to start up. And then I can use that piece of film other places. Oh, yeah. So I'm creating film to create film. So we're doing the hard work. We're doing the leg work. And this is why I'm not in the game so much. Is this stuff? I got to get this stuff done. The uh, <coughs> and it's a little boring to me. So the uh, it's not fun work. It's fun figuring out certain things. Like I'm gonna figure out how to make this crackle and pop uh, with a sound. You know, because audio is than half the experience that's why we bought a high dollar mic uh, the but I can hear in my own voice uh, but I know if I get to a certain distance from the mic it does sound a little differently and better but you get back a little here and it gets it gets a gravelly sound the uh, see we're getting, when I sing now I gotta <clears throat> If I grab a hold of my throat right here, this would be my natural voice, the uh, by stretching the bottom portion of my cords, and this is the way I sing at karaoke if we go get that drunk. The uh, you are not receiving enough video. Well, let me look at the time of day. You know what it is? Kids just got out of school in my part of town, guys. <coughs> so that's where my bandwidth went. 
the uh they're not all at home playing big guns of glory they ain't got they gotta get a job do that My little pegboard thing I got here. Hang my stuff up. It looks neat. I'm pissed off about my little mic stand thing from yesterday. The uh, I need to go find that spot in the video where I where I open the box. Cause I want them to replace my mic. Because of that thread. And I. I get it. I, I get where it's, it's crap, but. I don't like crap things. I buy nice things. Man, I'm seeing a huge buffer myself. Man, I used to have a contract for that back in when the uh, uh, air marshal program came out. I bought that stuff by the pallets for four bucks a box of fifty. I, I, I mean, just pallets and pallets of it. Yeah. Is nine and one P to swap Calvary nine with Calvary eight, seeing as nine and one P. Rick, I don't get what you're telling me there, boss. Let's figure this out. Well, you want the higher stat. Okay, that's subclass talk. A lot of people don't even look into subclasses. That's why they go to my calculator, is they don't know a damn thing about subclasses. <coughs> uh, I'm going to have to quit here shortly just because my voice is giving out. Wow, did I close? I closed the game completely, didn't I? Calvary... Is it nine and eight that are the same subclass? We're down to like 13 viewers. And I just realized I was planning all this stuff for UAC tomorrow. And my wife flies back into town tomorrow. And it's like the middle of the day when she shows up. Right when UAC starts. So I won't be here for the start of UAC. She's gonna to want to go eat and do stuff and things like that. So we're not gonna we're not gonna get back, you know. By then I'm gonna be exhausted. So the I hate to say it, we're four point seven point five point A. Yeah. And once again, guys, you got to realize it's because you come into these chats and vocalize that it's not just me saying it no more. That's what they're paying attention to. Uh, 
I, I may be the focal point and it may be my name bandied about. Uh, but if I didn't have the audience behind me, it really wouldn't matter one word either way. Because I see what my competitors who put out the, uh, we showed that yesterday, <coughs> 26, 27 views, you know. Esquay does good. He, he gets 1,000 views at, right off the bat. But he pops in, pops out, and tries not to create controversy. The, uh, the, uh, and he's a little fed up with the game, you know. They need to be figuring out how to attract somebody like Esquay. If you can't get the people who passionately promoted your game to play your game anymore, stop blaming them. You know, it's the, uh, I, I think I'm the only YouTuber that's been around over a year that hasn't written a why you shouldn't play GOG game. Yeah. Uh, all right, so Calvary. Hold on, we can look real good. Train. Uh, heavy. Lights. Okay, so yeah, tens and nines are the same subclass. What are you swapping them with? Are you saying like, Take out the nines that I've got in my formation and put more tens in? Is that what your thinking is? It doesn't work that way if it is. Because you got to look at your other layers. See, like on the nine layer, the distance is strong. Hills infantry with T9s and T11s, whereas the T10s kill cavalry. Cavalry, cavalry kills infantry usually. The uh, so during that layer, you're trying to initiate a result that allows you to go deeper into the next layer. What they're calling rounds now. So. Since they put it in there, I'm not going to make That's what I'll call rounds now. So we're going to go rounds into this stuff. And I'm going to have to adjust the calculators uh, for round math. Uh, I don't know. I, based on what we saw from these other war reports, uh there's a flaw in that math because if that math was really what it what they said it was while my castle was at its strongest I would have lost my least not the other way around as my castle got weaker on the next hit I did more damage with less troops with less troop loss and then the third hit five one point five million and he barely lost anything. So the uh, what is he trying to accomplish? The first hit he had gold in the event. So why is this one person who's been in four events now targeting my castle from other kingdoms to come in with the sole goal of spending hundreds of dollars to zero my troops? I don't know him, don't talk to him, never never seen him. And I can tell you from experience that anybody with White Tiger is from China. That's just the way it is. Uh, so I have to think I have to think that that's an insider misusing their account and flaying around. Hello Alex, how's it going, man?
Man, I got. So tens and nines are the same subclass, but with what you balance them with in that round, they accomplish different things. I hope that makes sense. And I can't, I'm, I'm, ne I'm probably never going to break down on video or anywhere else what tier enter class that I use my math with. Uh, there's a world of people out there who would love to turn around and do more than just copy my calculator. They would like to know how I developed the calculator. <coughs> and the guru sheet is what I use now. Uh, so I will pull open my guru sheet and I will play with different guard intermix. And I will put out hopefully shorter videos, but in series so that they're next to each other. YouTube, I wish YouTube would turn around and do what they're supposed to for that stuff. Uh, man, I am like 10, 15 minutes behind on my lag for my playback lag. It, it, it's insane. Yeah, I can't do the scotch while I'm doing the, the webcam. The... Uh, Yeah, I'm pretty sure somebody would get YouTube to kick me off if I was pouring scotch and smoking cigars in here. Yeah. Yeah. I already have enough problems. Doctors going, do you smoke? Which I don't smoke. I have a cigar like once every six months. The uh, usually usually July fourth, maybe maybe on maybe on uh, New Year's Eve. Not the only two times I drink anymore. The, uh, the, but in here I may have scotch if my back's hurting real bad. Scotch is absolutely outstanding for, uh, it's better than any of them $200 uh, muscle relaxers for stopping muscle spasms for the uh, steroid they give me. They cause muscle spasms. And especially, uh, and, and sometimes I just got to stop it because my like my left hand nowadays is spasming a lot, which is a pain in the ass. And then I'm sitting there trying to play the game the other day, and my freaking thumb was sitting there doing this crap. I couldn't stop it. The uh, and I run a thumb mouse. You know, I love these things so much. I got lots of them. There's the third. Oh, we are probably gonna lose the camera completely now. I didn't hear ding dong. But we didn't lose the camera. Holy crap. We did move the camera though, didn't we? Maybe we can get Monster to actually sponsor me. I could get sponsors fairly easy if I went out and bought fake subscribers. My traffic numbers are better than a, than accounts with hundreds of thousands of subscribers. The uh, advertisers are very pleased with my traffic, but faking subscribers is bullshit. See, this tells me I've got two mics coming in, and I don't know where that secondary mic's coming from. The, uh, and I'm getting different drop rates for both of them. I don't know where it thinks I got two mics. I only got one plugged into the... It's got to be on. See, if I got two mics, I got two things of video going up, and that's slowing everything down. Uh... Advanced Audio Properties. Hmm. 
Let's drop this down to Why can't it make it lower than that? Close. <laughs> now, see there, I'm seeing myself in real time. There is definitely some buffering going to the freaking web. Holy crap. Okay. So I made a big change to audio being sent. See what I'm going to do. Let's go there. And go back there. That'll give me an idea when I see it coming across on the frickin'. But distance kills infantry as well. That's what we were just showing. The, the T9s and the T11s kills infantry as well. They just kill a different class of infantry. The, uh, the, uh, T1s fight T1s. T2s fight T2s. Unless they don't have them, and then you get these big epic numbers because you get more rounds involved. Uh, the reason we run a shorter march, and we were getting greater, we were getting greater results out of that shorter march, is because we were denying the round calculator early. Is the best way to put it. What my estimation of the round calculator was. Those figuring that out is one of those days where I, I do drink a lot of scotch. The uh, the uh, usually usually the best math comes out of me after I, I haven't slept for four days. You got to remember one thing when you're dealing with the Chinese, when you're breaking the Chinese, they read right to left. Uh, there is a completely backwards set of thinking to our form of thinking. <clears throat> Plus, they have no qualms of marketing outward math in our language is not that does not relate to our use of that math. By that I mean uh, we're going to increase healing 600 percent. Well, I got 350 percent healing speed. That means you're 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 taking me backwards in time, you know, and then it, it knocks it down like 12 percent. The uh, they don't realize that it's one of those things that upsets people when the math doesn't translate to the way we know math. Because math is an exact science. It's not open to interpretation. Two plus two always equals four. But you can get to four with three plus one. You know, and when everybody says two plus two equals four, you can get to four with three plus one. There's different ways of getting what you want. If the desire is four, you know, I could go negative five, uh, you know, uh, plus nine. I still get to four. Uh, there's an infinite number of ways to get to four. But when you, but if I turn around and say, well, uh, I'm, I'm going to do a 80% uh, difference to get to four, and that's going to give me my negative nine to, to, to five to get to four. Most people are still thinking, but it's 2 plus 2. And their brain's not thinking any further than that. And they might go one layer and say, well, it's 3 plus 1. They damn sure are not going to go with negative numbers. Uh, hell, half the planet can't even realize that 0 is a number. Uh, that's how you get to 10. You start with 0. Uh, number 9 is the 10th digit in our base math. 
So the you wouldn't believe how many times in engineering stuff that not recognizing zero as a number is the number one mistake made in doing large projects, especially software projects. Uh, I, I've seen lots and lots of software projects where the kids writing software do not realize you got to be good at algebra to write software. And for some reason, being good at algebra, you don't re recognize zero as a number. The uh, It's a valid number. The the old divide by zero is like the number one bug in software. So, not enough video to maintain smooth streaming. As such, viewers... will experience buffering. So you guys are buffering. Yeah, well, it's it's not magic math. It, it's math is math. The uh, But you do have to break down how they do math. And there I wound up with an advantage. When, when Russia, when Russia went under, and, you know, when the wall fell, and then four years later, the Russians just were considered defeated, and they weren't even a country no more. The Soviet Union no longer existed, right? Uh, the Soviet Union had had the, I think it's Switzerland, build them what we call now a cigarette boat. They had this stealth cigarette boat, this high-speed attack boat that they had built. Well, the damn thing was built on tube technology. All the electronics were built on tube technology in there. And the United States paid the bill and bought the boat. But it had all Russian technology in it. Oh, yeah, I know. Why is he fighting us? I'm the strongest guy in my alliance. I'm not even the strongest in my kingdom. When you're talking about that, Wows. The uh, why is that guy targeting me the first hour of every Ike, and why has he been in the last five events, four events maybe? He was in the last Ike, he was in the KVK, he was in the UAC, he was in the blood event, the the blood war, and he's in this Ike. That's five events. Yeah, I've seen him the last five events. Why? I'm the number one stat guy in my alliance right now. The uh, I'm not even in the top 15 of my kingdom. The uh, and you're talking about 450, 500 kingdoms. That guy's or that kingdom should be somewhere else. If that if, if there's something wrong with that mismatch, I have not got to play the Ike event because that man exists. And I, that's why I don't deem it to be accidental that he keeps showing up. They know damn good and well that I'm going to put out something on the Ike event, but they probably got it in their mind I'm going to put out something negative on the Ike event. Well, I'll tell you the negative thing. they just proven you can that the Chinese can sell me as a slave to White Tiger. He gets to get all the rewards because he bought them, supposedly. I don't believe for a second that he bought them. I don't believe for a second that two days after this event, he bought enough guard XP. Because I, God, have his, has it even been for sale? Let's look at what that would have cost. Let's look at that. Guard. So the $10, can you get it without the frags? That's a good question. Okay, so there we go. There's our there's our best. Thing. So two hundred, two thousand. That's a big package. That's a big package. Oops. 
each one of those guards he used against me, and he sent them back to back to back, which means he guilt spent, would have cost him four hundred dollars. By the way, gun, what? Oh, wait a minute. Find it, restore it. Hello there. May have to disable, maybe laptop, the camera mic in your settings. I don't have a camera mic. Oh. Well, yeah, there's a mic in the... In the di I'm using a dive camera. That's why I get the wide view so I can bounce around. I don't have to have this thing chasing me. I don't have to put it up there on the mic and stand and put it right there in my face. Yeah, I do have a clue. I mean, it's six. Established that a long time ago. And the reason is, is because uh, round math that they're talking about is also known as looping in uh, software writing. And it's the quickest way to freaking crash a server is to create more loops. So they someone in, went in there to fix a software problem and they shortened the looping. I And... I can't remember when I noticed it happened. It was like five, six months ago. Somebody used that to fix a problem, I think. Uh, and that's when I started shortening the formations down to six, seven, seven layers. Uh, and then they proved that math out because my, and then we show it in here, or, all right, the first hit, he took the most troops from me. Well, I've got more than 10 layers. The strongest hit back to him. This should have looked, with my same guards and his same guards, this should have been a stair step up 